It continues to be one of those Mondays. It is almost the end of the month. I'm sorry, Pebs. 29th of April, 2024. I have no idea what that means for life. But I'm sure it will come to me in some sort of crisis. All right. The emulator sounds like it's, it's chugging a little bit. And I'm wondering if I have anything open in the background that I could close that might help it. But, you know, we'll figure it out. Da, 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 da. How you doing? It can get tough sometimes. Hey, you can always talk to me when it gets tough, kid. Don't worry, I've got your back. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, we've got the lotto thing already? Oh, God, it's lotto time. Jeez. Already? Man, how lucky are we today? What a start. Hey, we got that one. What's that one? Uh, this 10-hour stream has been crazy ass. <laughs> I know, I can't believe it, dude. A prize money. Okay, that's not too bad. Kind of nice. Uh, does anyone remember what we were doing last time we were here? I don't remember. I feel like I haven't played this game in what feels like at least five years. Got a feeling it's not been that long. Oh, we're heading this way. Okay. Oh, you know, Pebs, while I got you here, by the way, buddy. Um, I think maybe I sent you a message about this before. I think I want to make a poll. Oh, God. Things happening over there. Uh, I want to make a poll similar to the one that you got going, or that you get going, where it's anonymous, but I don't want it to be like a one and done vote. I want it to be like multiple. I'm so I'm sure these are all settings within that um, the bot that you use on the Discord thing, but that's the one I want to use. Got an idea. Putting stickers on Pikachu, wasn't it? Yeah, that's. I mean, that's the ongoing goal, hopefully. Back so soon, hmm? I wasn't expecting you just yet. It takes these dumb grunts way too long to deal with you kids. So I guess it's my turn now. What? I told you before. Next time you get in our way, I'm not holding anything back. Hot dang. Hey Clara, welcome in. Hope you're having a lovely day. How you doing? Good to see you. Yo, we're challenged by the admin, though. Alright. Well, but... Oh, just what you use, Pebs. I'm sure I could just click on it and figure it out from that. Like, I'm sure it's named accordingly. But if there's anything that I need to know about it that might not be straightforward, just let me know. Um, I'm planning to making a poll soon, test it out, see if it works, and then just do my own. I just had an amazing nap. Oh, that's awesome, Clara. Stumpin' just headed off for a nap. I wish I was good at taking naps. I think I've mentioned before on stream. The only times that I've, like, consistently napped and it's been, like, beneficial to me is, like, during the fasting season where I'm just so out of it while I'm working that I just have to take a nap during lunch times. And that usually really helps. What constitutes a nap for you, though, Clara, in terms of time? Because I feel like that's an ongoing point of contention. Well, not contention, just discussion about, like, how long is a good period of time to nap for. Because at some point, it just becomes sleep, in my opinion. And I think the, the thing I fuck up the most is I probably just don't drink enough. I think it just dehydrates me. Uh, Salazzle. Fire type, I think. Maybe. Uh, naps go hard, but I always end up sleeping for five hours. Dang. I think at least 30 minutes, no more than one hour and a half. Yes, that's basically what I've read as well. Although for me, you know, the, the thing I struggle with the most with, uh, with naps is that um, it's very hard for me to gauge how long it's going to take for me to fall asleep. I feel like Zen Headbutt's probably the best, because I think he's a physical attacker, but I could be wrong. Yo, bro, that took so much damage. I don't think Slowbro can take another hit. Uh, that's a shame. Um, maybe Raichu would be faster, but I'm not sure. 
I once worked in a small construction with another fella during his fasting season. It was incredible how he did the most work during without eating. Yeah, it's it's oh man, that that is impressive vodka because when I'm when I'm fasting, my overall output is definitely lower. Don't know if we're going to attack first. Nah, we didn't attack first. I really thought Raichu might go first. I watch listen to ASMR to help me get into nap more. That's a nice idea. I should find something like that. Spec is very good at uh, falling to sleep to music or other sounds. I've never been too good at it. I kind of want... I don't need silence, but... Yeah, I guess I haven't found something. That said, though, I remember when... Um, years ago when I was working here... And I was having issues with my arms and I was trying to relax to fall asleep. I did listen to... It wasn't music, it was kind of like... No, no, technically it was. It was piano. I have to try to find it again. It was some sort of piano lullaby song melody alongside, like, nature sounds. Like rain. I love the sound of rain. Big fan of rain. If it misses, the user's hurt instead. 130, though, is kind of wild. Yeah, let's get rid of this one, then. A fellow ASMR head. I love it. Rain sounds are great. Yes! Oh, Wills, you do, too? I, mm, I guess maybe I should give it more of a chance. I would like to be able to nap more, especially because uh, these days as well, with um, with the kitten. I get woken up very early with the kitten. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm never going to give him a, a held item to fling. There we go. One thing I do need to cut back a little bit on, but I am successfully, is just like caffeine. I only have coffee like uh, once or twice a week at this point. As opposed to like every day when I was working before. Now we understand why my grunts waste so much time battling kids. But if you want us to return the Pokemon, then you'll have to come to us alone. The boss is dying to meet you. Hmm. See you at our base in Poor Town. I'm looking in that I drink almost exclusively water. That is good, Wills. Water will definitely do it for you. Battles you can't afford to lose aren't any fun. Hey, are you guys okay? My, my young goose. We can't forgive this. Darn it, those numbskulls actually did something pretty clever for once. If we want to get the Pokemon back, then Azadokan has to go to the poor town all alone with no backup. That's what they said, but that's not fair. Team Skull has taken over poor town. It's basically their private playground now. Oh, I know. If you're gonna go, though, try to find this guy on Route 15 who's wearing a kimono. He might be able to help you get to Poor Town. He knows a whole lot about Pokemon that can travel across the water. Here, take this. Just just get my young goose back for me. I don't want to be insensitive, but it is just a young goose. I feel like I can go catch you another one, kid, you know? You know? Just a young goose. Yeah, you know, it's, it's awful. What am I saying? It's, it's awful. Let's head out. Uh, there's so much ASMR out there, it's not all women in bikinis, like, uh, uh, licking a mic. <laughs> no judgment if that's your thing. Yeah, I know what you mean, Clara, for sure. Now I need to get me some coffee. Ah, frame, man, I'm trying. I'm trying not to do it all the time. But I, I'll be honest with you, mate, I could totally do with some coffee right about now. I think I mentioned it before, though. I think straight up, one of my issues at the moment is that I'm not um, going through a phase of my life where I fill my day with streaming and then I work on art stuff and then I play with kitten but none of these activities that I fill my day with right now is very uh, is very uh cardio based you know like I don't go jogging anymore and I really should I feel like just a little bit of exercise every day would do wonders for me I'm gonna try something after stream today see if I can get a routine going dun, 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 dun. I'm just one of those people where like I feel like there's something I want to do or I 
It's not even like... My brain doesn't know the difference between wanting to do something and needing to do something. So when I have something going on in the back of my brain, like I have a commission I want to work on, right? And when I got that in my brain, it's it um it it, it gets its hooks in me, and I there's there's a part of me that's incredibly restless unless I'm working on something. I'm guessing this is who the talk. I do not recognize this character at all. I would go and get a coffee before he had like two. Come on, Bok. <laughs> Isn't it like 8 a.m.? <laughs> a trial goer, huh? And why would you be coming to a lonely, odd place like this? Bok, that's my weekly allowance you just did. Uh, I've got to get to team school. I don't recognize this guy. Uh-huh. I see you've got your reasons, and I'll take you on. Tell me, Uncle Grimsley is getting is going to flip a coin. Will it be heads or tails? Neither. Who is this guy? Astonishing. I had indeed been planning to have Skarmory snatch it out of the air as it spun in the sky. A loss is a loss. I'll give you Sharkpedo's info for your ride uh, pager then. Ride it to victory. Yo, we got a Sharkpedo? Neat. Well, I woke up at four. Oh, you mentioned, Buck, that you got up really early today, right? Is that usual for you, Buck? Are you a, 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 two, a two coffees before 8 a.m. kind of guy? <laughs> Maybe you don't need to hear this from me, but I'm going to tell you anyway. If you press B while riding on Sharkpedo there, it'll jet forward and smash through rocks. Like those ones there. And there's a bit more unwanted advice. Uh, poor town lies at the other end of Route 16 here. But it's thoroughly occupied by Team Skull. You shouldn't go there unless you want trouble. Fucking love trouble, mate. I usually wake up at 6 or so sometimes. Gotcha, okay. So would you say you're usually only one coffee in by now? That's not the right one. I will. There we go. Sweet. Oh, this is kind of sick. Yo! This is kind of neat. I don't remember this in Sun and Moon. Is this new for Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon? I'm trying to think back. I don't remember riding on a shark beetle. I try not to drink more than two a day. Gotcha. Okay. I guess today being slightly more of an exception with it being... Um, like an early start for you. Though, you have only hit two a day, I guess. Like, you're, you are on two. Watch out, me. Ugh. Inconvenient. Always makes me a little sad when help doesn't arrive. I'll get over it. All. Hey, Alessa, welcome in. How you doing? I hope you have a wonderful week too. All the better to see you. How do you feel about coffee, Alessa? Another ball. My week started pretty good, and coffee I like if it's a good one. Got ya. I'm having some right now. Oh, everyone's having coffee. Is it okay to have coffee if everyone else is having coffee? I feel like that's a weak excuse to have coffee. Dun, 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 dun. Yo, did I never catch a tentacle before this? Or is that actually tentacle registered? I can't tell. No, it's not. It communicates with others of its kind by lighting up um, red orbs on its head. When the orbs are blinking, it's a warning sign. Just like me. Send it back to the box. So I went to a German bakery and said, Gluten Morgan! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> 
How did it go? <laughs> Are you still allowed in the bakery? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. That was good. I enjoyed that. I hate coffee, but I'm all in and gothy. Nice. But when is my charger bug gonna evolve, I wonder? Wee. I think it's perfectly fine to want to have coffee if others have it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. Might as well charge, challenge this person. I'll party up to snuff. I'm not in a particular rush today. I don't feel the uh, the, the strong urge to progress at neck-breaking speed. We'll play with Kyra for a bit. Kira? Yo, Seeking. One of the few Pokemon from the original 151 I care not about. If this suddenly Pokemon company announced... Hey, so Seeking, we just didn't want to draw or model him anymore. We're just going to stop including him in the video games. I'll be like, oh no. Okay. That sounds really harsh. I'm sorry for those people who really like Seeking. The Shulker has been relocated. Spawn shall sleep easy once more. Thank you so much, Wills. Doing God's work. Bum, ba, 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 ba. Everyone loves Magikarp and like to say Golden Goldeen. The Seeking is just eh. Yeah! Like even Goldeen, I'm kind of like, yeah, that's, you know, it's a fish, right? I don't know, maybe I'm being too harsh. I just think Seeking's a bit eh. I do. Oh yeah, so hot off coming off of Orphan, right? I think I, may, I might have mentioned this in the, in the, uh, the Discord. I want to play some retro game in my repertoire of games more regularly. Though, right now, Spec has complicated manners by introducing a game that I really want to play. So if I don't have time to do an unscheduled stream of it this week, because I'll be busy a little bit, um, I was thinking of dedicating all of next week to another Crab's Treasure, which I've been loving so far. I've only had one stream with it, but I really like that game. So next week, I might pause Ultra Moon, and um, I might pause my adventure through Kingdom Hearts, because I'm hoping as well this week to finish Birth by Sleep. If I can stream on Thursday, Friday, that'll be a definite. And that would mean that um, I'm done with Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5 HD Remix. And that would mean that I'm ready for Kingdom Hearts 2.8. And a step closer to finally playing Kingdom Hearts 3. Can you imagine? Hey, you're Rotom Sad, is he? Hang on. Oh, I think that's just the way he looks. <laughs> Vodka, I think that's just the way he looks, buddy. He, he's just always like this. You don't mind having me around, right, as a Dokin? Am I helpful? You're a lightsaver. I know I can count on you. Um, you're a light lifesaver, buddy. Really? Well, that's good to hear. Don't worry. I'm not gonna. Oh, we have another Lotto Roto. Sorry to keep you waiting. Is Roto Lotto? It is again. Two in one day. The fuck, man. Give it to me. Oh, what's that? Hey, look at that. Zzz, amazing power. Roto Stealths. Oh, is that like, um, we we'll call them. The Avoiding Pokemon item that I've forgotten the name of. Oh, that's kind of neat. Huh. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, let me just catch up with it. Uh, 
especially some of the new generations. It's always been a hit and miss with me as well. If you touch him, I think he'll give you an item. Thank you, Vodka. I didn't realize that his eyes being half closed was a signal that he wanted to say something to me. That's kind of subtle. I like it. I really appreciate the engines and sets of keys trying to attack me randomly. <laughs> I the kind of the, the the keys I'm kind of into. I'll be honest. Crab game. I can excuse it. I had so much fun with the crab game. Wills. I really just want to get back into it. No Klefki criticism. Yeah, I'm kind of with Pebs in this one. Big fan of Klefki. This is cool though. Like the the way it controls is a bit of weight behind it. So yeah. Anyway, I'm hoping next week if I don't get any time this week. To do some more crap. Thank you, Vodka. Yo, you got Klefki merch? Hang on, do you mean as in you've just got like a set of keys? Hang on, are you fucking with me? Ooh, Dig does some damage to this thing. Look at him go! Oh. Well, GG's on the barrier. If he's getting help, I'm leaving. Okay. Ooh. Still faster than my charger book, huh? Do, 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 do. Uh, well, I mean, it's just my house keys, but I knew it. Hey, Deacon, welcome in. Hello, I am here. We can start the Minecraft now. Oh, right, shit. Sorry, Deacon, listen, buddy. Um, Minecraft was just cancelled today. Did, did you not get the email that I only sent to you? So we just, we're just doing Pokemon. Um, and I'm so glad you're here, so now we can actually start. I was in the middle of this water for so goddamn long, I was wondering when we were actually going to get to land. But it's a good job to have you here now, Deacon. We can, we can get going. How are you doing, Deacon? Good to see you. Change my Pokemon around. Switch with him. I am Amina. <laughs> get on Minecraft. <laughs> I'm gonna go and buy the crab game, but at the weekend, otherwise I won't get uh, any studying done this week. It's so good, Clara. Are you, are you planning on streaming it? Ah. Ooh. I can't wait to play some more of it. Uh, Clefki looks like a set of uh, toy keys my kid had when she was four months old. Yep. They killed Minecraft. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's actually a better excuse, Wills. Yeah, uh, listen, Minecraft just uh, isn't a thing today for whatever reason. I'm playing on streaming. That's awesome, Clara. I'm hoping to catch some of that then. Um, Large Beam is physical? No. 65. 90. 90 seems like a lot. Huh. Spark. Uh, so, are you aware that the back half of your shark is missing? <laughs> it does kind of have that vibe, doesn't it? It's just a pair of teeth. Oh, welcome in, Dover. How are you doing? Hang on. Dover Stark. Yeah, I'm going to go with Dover. How are you doing? Level charger bug up in Blush Mountain. Is that how it evolves? What is a Blush Mountain? Is that a location? Is that why he's not evolving? I'm wondering why he's not evolving. Ah, okay. Let me look into that after I get out of here then. I did not know that. Oh. Bop, 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 bop. Uh, this thing looks like it's water. The Mantine water. 
Uh, it is on the rocky route. Okay. I think I've passed it already, right? It rings a bell, I think. Yeah, I'll check after this. Okay, let me see. <clears throat> Right, um... Blush Mountain, this area, okay. And I need to pull up, uh, hang on, it's been a week since I played this, I need Charizard. To pull me, I guess, over here. In the original Sun and Moon, had to wait till the last island to evolve it. Really? Huh, I never used Charger Bug uh, in the Sun and Moon original. So, I just need to level him up while being in the mountain area? Is that all? Oh, I should have actually healed him. I'll just use my bag items. Crumpet time! Yo, that sounds like a good time, Wills. Enjoy the crumpet! Alright, am I in the mountain now, technically? Or do I need to go up a little bit? Uh, how do I call thing? Oh, there he is. Blush Mountain, here we go. Hang on, have I been here before? Have I not been here? Huh. I guess it wasn't mandatory to go up here? Oh, Shane, what you got, buddy? Electrike. You know, I always wanted to like Electrike. But there's something about the evolution, I... I don't know. It was like a worse version of Luxray to me, which I know is not very kind, but that's kind of how I've always looked at it. Though he did get the Mega Evolution. This ground maybe would have been better. That'll do. Might take a hot minute to level him up enough. Electabuzz! Why not? Big. Is Electrike's evolution an Electbike? No, but that would be good though, wouldn't it? <laughs> he kind of just gets uh, more pointier and blue. And he kind of has like um, an Anubis Egyptian vibe to his silhouette. Like, it sounds cooler, I feel, the way I'm saying it than in execution. There's just something about it that didn't click with me personally. What is this place? Sure he does. Perhaps it's the influence of the power plant, but electric Pokemon that I never used to see now come here ah is Thank that you. why yo reina welcome in how you doing can i give spec a hook hang on spec is in the other room right now i think she's on a call while also doing zumba but you know what reina that's not going to stop me i'm going to quickly nip to the other room and give her a whole little hug hang on hang on don't move Has been delivered. On spec has been hugged. 
the multitasking expert. Yep, I found her. She is she is resting. Uh, she was no longer zumbering. Oh. And uh, the kitten has been exposed now to Zumba. There's no going back. Uh, doing bad but managing to stay alive. Oh, I'm really sorry, Reyna. I hope uh, you do better than just ma managing to stay alive. Though managing to stay alive is a good start. I hope things get better, Reyna. I'm happy that spec was hugged. Yeah, it was a big old hug. I gave one to the kitten as well while I was there. So how could I not? Do, 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 do. Oh, this is a cool area. Oh, he's here. Hello, hello, Alola. Here in Alola region, volcanic eruptions can result in long, thin strands of magma. They form strands of glass rather than hair, but the hair on the diglet here is not glass, but rather whiskers of some metallic substance. Oh. Hey, cultists, welcome in, buddy. I was just complaining how I don't drink enough. Thank you. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, too. Uh, you also evolved Nose Pass and Magneton here as well. Oh, that's really cool. Is it just anywhere in the region then that will do it? Because I think the, the mountain sounds like it's a big area. And the void heard you, sir. <laughs> good to be here. Good to have you, Cultist. How you doing, man? And Reyna, I, I mean it. I really hope things get better for you. Please be patient with yourself and with circumstances. Here, I've got something for you. Something good for you. You're a lure ball? Big fan of always getting balls as a as a gift in these games. Ah, and he's off. Hello. I'm not gonna read all of this. I'm just checking if anyone wants to give me anything. This is really cool though. This takes me back a little bit on going on um, a museum when I was in Japan. The way that this is set up is very familiar. Oh, there's a sticker there. Completely glossed over that. Big fan of Magnemite and Magneton. I mean, it could just be nostalgia speaking. I kind of wish sometimes at Magnezone they just kind of went hard and just plopped on like another three Magnetons onto it. I guess it would be a bit of a cop-out, but I, I still think it'd be kind of fun. What <laughs> like cool tis got him, got him. Uh, in the original ones, had to wait for vast um, pony mountain. That is very late to evolve them, especially charger bug. Yeah, that is, huh? Oh, I'm glad they changed it. Oh, look at the charger bugs here. I guess this is a hint towards it. All right, let's just see what's out here. A mud bray, that's gonna be inconvenient. Uh, I guess I could bite it, yeah. I guess they are significantly lower level than my charger bug, so I shouldn't have too much issue, but I guess it'll take some time. Will rare candy do the job? I guess I can just try it out and see if it works. Like, what else am I keeping it for? This is a proper horsey horsey one for sure, Deacon. I mean, though, Ponytown might be the original one if you think of it that way. Whoops. I really thought I was going to kill it before I did that. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, now we'll just leave. No, we can't leave. Ah, uh, it's fine. Hang on. Bam, 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 bam. What do I have? Um, I don't want to go all the way back to revive, so I'll just use it here. What happens when I don't pay attention? Shit. Should I hit him? Should I hit him? I should hit him. Don't call for help. Hang on, they can attack and call for help? That kind of seems fucked up. 
so feel sad when no one shows up. He's faster than my my uh, my moss, really. That's terrifying. I think maybe my team is just really slow. <laughs> Wait till this guy finds out about Ponyta. Ponyta was on fire, and nothing counts if it's on fire. Yeah, but there was that one episode where you know. Ponyta and Rapidash were doing the race thingy. Oh, hang on. Was it an episode with um, Ponyta and Evolve partway into Rapidash? Is that how it went? I feel like I might be making that up. It's been a long time since I've seen the anime. Alright. How do I put this stuff in order? Um, salt. There we go. Rare candy. See if this works. Well, what do you know? Thank you so much, Dover. That's awesome. Down, 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 down. This area named Vast Pony Canyon, uh, by the way, as this is, uh, no, this is, um, but that was mentioned. This is uh, Blush, Blush Mountain. So Dovo was mentioning that in the previous games, that's where you would have to go to to evolve some of these electric Pokemon. But they changed that in Ultra Moon to make it earlier in the game through Blush Mountain. Uh, I missed the first few seasons of the Pokemon anime. I've only ever seen the first season or two, I think. Uh, got a level 10 Salamence in this game now. Oh, wonderful. Congrats. One Arg, two Args. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Vicavoke. I've never had this on my team before. So I'm quite happy about this. This is cool. Yeah, frame gets it. Wait, I don't think I get it. E, we did it. Uh, Vicavolt. Clusters opponents with acrobatic flying maneuvers. This creates an opening for it to deliver an electric beam attack. I do know that this Pokemon was very useful in Scarlet and Violet as the um, the uh, the let's go feature thing where you throw them out and they just kind of attack Pokemon. Okay, let's see what we got. Is it how quick it moves? Thunderbolt is 9100 special attack. Oh, he is very much special attack. I'm guessing I should just probably replace Spark, right? Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. You skipped context shit, did I? Fuck. Hang on. I thought I read everything, didn't I? I could probably count while on fire. Oh, that's what you mean, yeah. One, ah, two, ah. <laughs> is that what the context was? Uh, going for the Pokédex, so figured uh, be quicker than leveling to 50. Oh, significantly uh, quicker than leveling to 50. But I think I've caught uh, wild salamancers in one of the games, I thought. Maybe? I did? That's awful, Pebbles. That doesn't look like it could fly very well. Well, you know. Hello. Oh, we have another one incoming. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. Thank you. Let me make sure I catch up with everything before I leave. Because God knows where the chat will be when I come back. If you get the high score on all the surf courses, you can get Surfer Pikachu. Oh, that's awesome! The surf stuff is completely new to this, so that's actually a pretty go good, uh, what's the word? That's a pretty good incentive to do it. I'll try to get some sleep, have fun stream. You too, Rainer. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope things get better for you. Uh, I will go and hug the spec. Please enjoy this redeem. The Falcon of Death! Unbelievable, the attitude on that woman, Jesus Christ. I go over there, I give her a hug, a good little squeeze, I pull away and she's like, that was a bit quick, wasn't it? 
And I look at her like, oh, you. You. And I went in. She just got two hugs out of me. She got two out of me. You hear that, cultist? She got two. She got a whole other hug out of that. Couldn't believe it. She had me going for a second. For like a split second, I felt awful. I was like, oh, no, did I? And I was like, wait there. She's, she's pulling my leg. I hugged her for the same quantity of time as I hugged her before. As it should be. <laughs> We can't make these redeems double hug redeems. What kind of economy would we live in? Alright, uh, let's get on our way. Uh, some also- No, mate, I'm good for now. He really wants me to take photographs. Two times hug Mondays. <laughs> I, <d> <laughs> I feel like this is a lose-lose situation for me. Like, I can't say, Oh, no, don't do that, because then I sound like an awful husband. At the same time, it's like, I can't. I can't let this get out of hand. Uh, she needs to redeem a hug to make up for it. There we go. Thank you, Subita. Welcome in, by the way. Good to see you. How you doing? That's what I'm talking about. Fix the economy. What am I doing here? This is not the Pokemon I was intending on pulling out, but whatever. We're here now. This is a proper horse, though. Be happy with this one, Deacon. Don't side with us. Yeah, why would you? What does he know? Alright, let's head on to the place that we're meant to be heading to. I believe it's down here. Then across here. And then over here. Oh, Pelipper. Sure. I, they've managed to make this Pokemon really cute and stuff. Have you all seen? These, like, uh, the real animal pelican thingy with a massive fucking throat thingy in real life. Like, have you seen how kind of messed up and gross it is? Kind of nasty. Can't remember if it was, like, a pelican specifically I was looking at. Like, the angle that they were showing off at, I was like, oh my god, that looks horrifying. I hate it'd be a fish caught in there. I was just given a, a capture asking for me to click the bicycle, but there was only motorcycle. What? Am I bot? Holy shit. You might be. Oh, I kind of want that sticker. I will take that. I think acrobatics is a pretty decent flying move. Oh, it's just over here. What is this place? It's like the Mantine surfing thing. Which would explain why I don't recognize it. Because it's new to this game. I just can't forget that sunset. It was such a brief moment in time, but I want to see it again. It was like the sun was on fire as it sank down beneath the waves. Beautiful. Uh, you know about it, don't you? You must. The mythical Over the Gyarados. It was a trick that this legendary surfer once did. Oh, but he was loved by both the sea and the Mantine themselves. There's no one left who knows how to do it anymore, though. Interesting. Is that a move? Over the Gyarados? Yeah, maybe I'll engage a little bit more with the, the Mantine surfing thingy. Like I said, it is a new feature in this. Yo, Vikavolt is so cool! Wait. I should probably switch him out though, since he's a little low on HP and I've got other Pokemon ready. Um, Marowak is fiery. I still think, like, my team needs a bit of rounding out. I have like two ghost types basically. I would like a fire. No, not a fire type. I have a fire type. I would like. Um... Hmm. What would I like? <laughs> Just trying to think. What, what would I like? I feel like last time I was playing this, I had. Oh, fairy type. I want a fairy type on my team because I don't use fairy type very much and I'm not very good with the, with the type matchups. So, kind of force myself to have one might help. 
Normal type, sure. Yeah, don't mind a normal type. Normal type. My usual team usually has like a Munchlax, Snorlax in it at some point. Big fan of Snorlax. Hey, yo, how's it going, dog? It's me, Pebbles, coming at you live to your face, dog. Sorry, I do a really bad Pebbles impression. Spears. There we go. Made up for it. I always said, dog. Exactly, that's what I mean, you know? Oh, wait. Those two want to fight? That's my second Pokemon. That's fine. Hello. Abs, abs. When I get in the ocean, I get pricked by Corsola or Pyukumu. All right. Well, thanks for letting me know. Uh, Ribombi shows up in the meadow up ahead. Ah, Ribombi is like the one that has like a scarf on it. Pebbigy. <laughs> Did I always have a beard? I think so. Snorlax is my spirit animal. I love Snorlax. Snorlax is usually always on my team, along with like Arcanine. Like I'm a sucker for some of the original ones. I'm really trying to kind of like branch out with these other ones to use some of the things. I'll be honest with you, I kind of just want to have him back on my team. Uh, what are we doing with these? These are watery, aren't they? So that's not good. Psychic on that one will do. Um, Marowak's going to have a bad time. I'm just going to hit him. Fuck it. Go on, Marowak. Do your worst, mate. Let's just see how much damage it does. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, he might be dead here now, though. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, he took it. Huh. I really thought that was going to kill him. Oh, never mind. He's dead now. Nice idea for them to use Surf as a double team that has water absorbed, though. I like that. I feel like in the latest Scarlet and Violet DLC, where they're all double battles and stuff, um, there were some really cool combinations like this. Uh, what shall we do? Um, I guess Moss, just because he can hit them both as well. And with a Grass typing, that should help. Uh, if we do Psychic on this one, then if we use... Look, does that hit both of them? It doesn't. Does Razor Leaf hit both of them? It does. Okay. Sweet. When did I get to a Pebble stream? Oh shit, now it's this is as Pebbles as it's gonna get. We have a Peb Hey Pebble? A Pebble stream. The original Pokemon are just um really memorable. Yeah, they are. And I have a lot of nostalgia for them too, you know? Like it's fond memories from when you're at a really young age. It's gonna be hard to top that. Nice get up, Pebs. <laughs> <laughs> Will Pebs is that really suits you? Thank you. Thank you. I do feel quite dashing. Pebble. Pebble is pretty good. I think a Heppel would be fine as well. But Pebble is pretty good. Oh, I think I asked this um not that long ago. Is there any video games in the in the coming months that people are excited about? I mean, I guess aside from Elden Ring DLC. I think that's in June. Is that in June? Hello. Yo, is that Starmie fronting that Corsola? I don't know what to do. What's wrong? This mysterious Pokemon, Starmie, it's my buddy, but it really loves staring contests. Uh, it's been doing staring contests for a week. I want to go home, but it won't move an inch unless it loses. Uh huh. Wait, didn't Slowpoke just blink? Slow. Sha, 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 sha. Okay, uh huh. Enough of your cry of triumph. Let's go home, shall we? Sha, sha. 
Oh, seriously? You still want to do a staring contest? Is there a Pokemon that can beat my Starmie? Is... If, sorry, if there were a Pokemon that knew Tickle, it would be able to beat my Starmie instantly. May I didn't even know there was a fucking move called Tickle. Alright, well, I guess none of my Pokemon are going to count, are they? Right. I don't remember this. I should save here, by the way. Yeah. Ah, yes. Uh, Pebble. <laughs> Pebble. <laughs> I'm not really looking forward to anything in the near future, which is kind of nice. That is Bok. That'll give you a good time to get through your backlog, buddy. Is there something specific in your backlog, then, that you'd be interested in? Uh, Wills is mentioning Persona 3 Reload is getting DLC later in the year. That's right. That's that's quite late, though, isn't it? That's like September-ish, I think. It is in June. Yep. Space Marine 2 has got me pretty stoked. I've never played any of those. It's one week before 14. Damn. Uh, which I am looking forward to. Dong Dongo Trail, for sure. Man, what a name. Why is the whole world happening in June? I don't know, man. I'm looking forward... Uh, to Life by You. I don't think I've heard of that one either, Clara. Hang on. Let me run a quick Google search for Life by You. Da, 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 da. Where's, where's my keyboard? And I'll share what I'm looking forward to in the near future as well. Oh, interesting. Is this, is this like a Sims? A Life by You upcoming live simulation game developed by Paradox uh, Tectonic and published by Paradox uh, Interactive. Cool. Yeah, from what I know of what I've watched from you play, Clara, this does seem right up your alley. Uh, I wonder if I should tell Spec about this. Spec does like a good, uh, a good Sims game. See also The Sims, okay. <laughs> like there's no information about it. See also Le Sims. <laughs> uh Mincino is my first thing for tickle. Oh yeah, the cute little normal type. With the big bushy um that probably explains why I don't know that move off the top of my head, uh Dover, because I've never used those. I have to leave for a little exam. Have a good one. Good luck, Purbot, with your exam. Thank you so much for um, the joining us for the Minecraft stream earlier. Really appreciate it. You cultivated rooster you? I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I do almost no research into upcoming releases. That's fine, Wills. Better to be that way, honestly. Uh, yes, it made by some of the people that made Sims 3. Right. Encino is my favorite Pokemon. Oh, that's all. That's awesome. Hang on, just so everyone knows what we're talking about that might not be familiar. It is an adorable fucking Pokemon. I give you that. Smoke of pain. Is that what you're looking forward to, Cheese? Smoke of pain? Is that your answer? This is a very adorable Pokemon. Do I have a Pokemon card for this? Uh, I had Sege over um, last weekend, I think it was. Uh, Sege is a wonderful human being who has blessed the Discord with some fantastic sonic Hello. music of the past however many days at this point. I Hang on. We're, okay, you know what? I feel like someone should message Spec to come here to give me... You know what? I'll go and hang on. Let me just... Let me uh, put this on the screen before I leave to go and give Spec a hug. I'm not going to get... I'm not going to get caught into giving her a double hug this time. I'm not going to fall for it. Here we go. All right. Uh, be right back. I'm going to go give her a hug. It was one hug, but I was there for like an extended period of time because now it's in my head, you know? It's in my head. I'm being trained to give longer hugs and I don't like that. It's kind of messed up. <sighs> well, that's awesome, Clara. I'll let uh, Spec know about it because I don't know if she knows about this. Uh, looking forward to Orphan coming out this year. Hey, big up to Orphan. Love me some Orphan, baby. Don't wait too much time on that redeem since it was added. It's a good one though, isn't it? It's one of my favorite ones now. 
Each hug must be longer than the last. Fuck that. <laughs> no way. Absolutely no way. Um, I am looking forward to Monster Hunter stories um, coming to... Is it coming to different platforms? I don't think it's only the Switch, actually. I'm a big fan of Monster Hunter Stories 2, which was on the Switch. I never played much of the original, which was out on the 3DS, I think, originally. But the, uh, the remaster is coming out. Oh, I think it's just a remaster or a port or whatever um, for the first two of them. And I'm very much looking forward to this. I'm a big fan of Monster Hunter Stories. Big fan. The billion year long hug, God damn it! I started wearing a black t-shirt two days ago. Realized I've been covered in Sky's fur today. Oh, that's adorable. I don't think our kitty's been molting too much, but it's going to get hot here soon. So maybe he will. Monster Hunter Stories is coming to PC too. Yeah, I think it's multi-platform, Cultist. I think it's like coming out on everything, right? Uh, and I think, hang on, is it in June that's coming out? I don't know what to type in to find it. Like, what, what is it called? Is it Monster Hunter Stories Collection? Yeah, it's coming out on PS4. Uh, Switch, Steam, yeah. Cool. Uh, very much looking forward to this. When is it coming out? June 4. Oh, it's also June as well. God damn it. June! <laughs> June! I uh, feel like I got more fur on me than she does on herself. Yeah, it'd be like that though, doesn't it? Monster Hunter World and the DLCs are on sale on PlayStation currently. That's where I have it, Wills, and that's where I'm going to be playing it soon enough. Hopefully with a Haley one of these days. Uh, I love the second one, but I never played the first. I'm with you, Cultist. I played a little bit of the first one. I actually went to the effort of emulating using a program called Bluestacks, which emulates like an Android-based phone thing, right? Just so I could play the iOS version, not the, the Android version, sorry, the mobile version of Monster Hunter Stories. It's a bit of a pain to get set up, and I almost had it ready for streaming, but then this was announced. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just wait till this comes out at this point. The only thing about Monster Hunter Stories 2, which I played a lot of, by the way, I've completed it and I've done a bit of the end game that I didn't like, is that it's not cross-play with the PC version. Which is true for like all of the modern Monster Hunter games. They are not cross-play. And that irks me to no end. I kind of get it if you don't want to mix PC players with console players when it comes to like PvP stuff. Even though I still think it's kind of bollocks and you should give people the option. But for something that's just PvE, man, you know. Just let people play together. Or, base minimum, base minimum, allow me to port my save file. You know what I mean? If Capcom just let me take my save file for any one of them, like Rise world stories from one console to another console i will double dip i will buy the game again on pc just so i can play with my friends group over there you know what i mean that's my daily rant about the lack of cross play and stuff where's my controller I waited to play one before I start. Uh, I wanted to play both of them. I waited. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So now is my chance. Absolutely. This is going to be Octopath Travel all over. What was up with June? I know June is going to be so big. At least Naga has black fur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can be camo. I mean, it depends, cheese. I got some white t shirts. I might beg to differ. I do like that Monster Hunter is going for more spin off games since uh, it's such a fun world. It is. And I like the direction that they took the stories in. I don't think it's got the same legs as other monster collecting video games. Like, I don't think it's quite as um, fleshed out. But it's so much fun. And I love the world. And specifically, number two, because I can't speak too much to one. I found the story and the animation of the cutscenes and stuff really charming. Uh, do you still play the Pokemon Go Monster Hunter game? No, I stopped. I think it's good. I think it's, uh, if anyone's into mobile gaming or, like, you, you travel a lot and just want something on the side, I think it's a pretty, um, well put together video game. But personally for me, um, every time I booted up Monster Hunter now, I just wanted to play Monster Hunter. You know? I should switch Pokemon. No, he's fine. Absolutely fine. Wow, wow. And not this year, but Monster Hunter Wilds next year. Oh, hell yeah, frame. I was so expecting that there was going to be 
a new monster of this year, given the anniversary and all the ramp up to the anniversary. But I guess not. Monster uh, survival horror game? Hell yeah. Do it. I would be a big fan. Big fan. <clears throat> hand this, uh, Haunter. I do love me a little Haunter. Um, but we will bite. Oh, Marowak's still dead. Whoops. Which one of my Pokemon has bite? Oh, he's got crunch. That'll do. Imagine that using the RE engine would be fantastic. I prefer that Capcom is taking the time and not trying to rush for anniversary release. Me too, Cultist. Me too. I just didn't think that they would get permission to. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like marketing would use any excuse to, to like, fucking jump on the the bandwagon to get another thing out on a, on a you know just hype basically it's like free hype and free marketing yep uh, also about favorite pokemon uh, now that you faced it sanshrew is my absolute favorite sanshrew is awesome how do you feel about the alolan version then because i think the alolan version is also pretty good oh wait i didn't pay attention to what he was throwing out next i'll just throw out char dino crisis 2 what a game that was already released in Dino Crisis 5. I think they made three Dino Crisis, right? Sis, Crisis, Sis, Sis, Sis. Oh, this is not the right Pokemon to throw out against us. Unless, hang on, is Fairy weak to, to fighting? This is this is kind of why I needed a Fairy type of my team. Maybe it's not a Fairy type? Oh, well, it's dead either way. Capcom has been pretty good about keeping the market uh, ghouls back, honestly. They kind of have in that respect. Yeah. I wonder how their... Um, what was their, their PvPVE game called that they recently... Somewhat recently, as in like mid last year, they released it. Around about like July, August last year. Do you know what I'm talking about? They've done a lot of collaboration stuff. Like recently, I think they announced like a Mega Man collab. Oh, there is a Pokemon Center here. Let me... Street Fighter 6, not, no, no, not, definitely not Street Fighter 6, mate. I did not forget about Street Fighter 6, don't you worry. Oh, it's cold now. The one about killing dinosaurs, yeah, 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 that's the one, that's the one. I mean, just stick monster, uh, monsters into the game, I don't be by it. I mean, yeah. Me too. I'm gonna quickly talk to everyone in here, just skip through it in case there's any new dialogue. I mean, new things. Uh, let's do this here, okay. Are we fighting in here? Yo, a fight in the Pokemon Center? That's a little gross, isn't it? Uh, basically EDF with dinos, yeah? I wanted to like that one, uh, but the PvP aspect put me off. Kind of the same way, Cultist. I thought it controlled fine. And I thought it was not... Um, I don't think it's a bad game. Yo, Trubbish! Fucking love Trubbish. Trubbish dark type? I've got a feeling like he's probably dark. Uh, which would make all of this kind of pointless. Exoprimal, thank you, yes. The Jurassic Park, uh, park builder game, but it's Monty, Monty hunting monsters, that'd be kind of sick too. I'd be down with that. Honestly, there's so much stuff you could do. I wouldn't say no to a Pokemon Snap Monster Hunter. I think that would be kind of sick because of how much effort I feel like Capcom has put into the more recent titles to do with like, um, how do I word it? The, um, the whole like <clears throat> ecosystem. Yo, Clara, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated, Clara. Thank you. Please enjoy the emotes. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Uh, Pokemon Snap Monster would be sick, right? I love the ecosystem. I yeah, I'm, I, I know that about you, Pebs. You're all seasons, mate. Hey, Janikin, welcome in. How you doing, man? Ba -ba 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 -ba. 
Welcome in, Mr. Browncraft. How you doing? That's an adorable emote. Thank you, Clara. Appreciate it. Ah, what's happening? Drink too much of anything, even moo moo milk, and this is what happens. There you go, kids. I do feel like moo moo milk is definitely that thing that your kid begs for. And then after you give them like two helpings or whatever, you regret it. Got me my own moo moo milk, sick. Uh, are Capcom ever gonna release another real Dead Rising game that wasn't Dead Rising 4? I never played those ones. I played Dead Rising 1 and 2, and I played those two to death back in the day. I loved those games. It's funny, actually thinking back to it, Dead Rising is one of those games where when I first played it, I didn't like it. There was something about like the time mechanic, um, and I thought it was really hard. And I also, back in the day, I don't know if anyone remembers this, I didn't have a very good TV. Um, how do I word it? Like, the, the font was, like, really hard to read on the TV that I had at the time. I felt like Dead Rising was one of the first games that, like, it was made for a HD resolution generation of gaming, but they just didn't do anything for people who hadn't done the jump just yet. So, like, everything was fucking tiny on it. Are you, uh, you want to do a little job for me? Yeah, sure. Garchomp. Oh, your Garchomp is sick. Yeah, sure. When I run into one, I will. Get none of that. Da -da -da -da. Okay, that's great. Anything in here? We can purchase more items. What more do we need? I think we've got plenty of balls, right? Yeah. Portions, I guess. I guess. I guess I could. I don't need them right now, I don't think. Some more of these. I should actually save uh, some money up and then uh, use that thing that's new in the game. The Roto thingy to just buy a bunch of stuff in one go, possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe later. I think we're good. I'll see if I've got anything else in here that I might want to switch out for. If we're coming close to, um, what Pokemon was it? The Sisano? I, I forgot how you even pronounced that Pokemon. A normal type maybe would be nice for my team. And maybe a fairy type. I don't know if I want to get the uh, Robombi, whatever it's called, the Rombi, Rombi Pokemon. But maybe something like, um, those Comfy Fairy? Comfy is fairy. Don't like Comfy. Maybe Sylveon? Hmm. Maybe Sylveon. Oh, I do have a cutie fly. Cutie fly, a bug fairy. Okay, that makes sense. I assume Sylveon is just like pure fairy. We do have an Umbreon as well. Kind of do like Grum uh, Rumbions. Umbreons. Uh, doing well? I forgot how much I like the Team Rocket of this game. I know. The, the, what are they called? Team Skull? I think they're hilarious, Janik, and I'm glad they didn't take them too seriously, because I felt like in other iterations of Pokemon, uh, specifically like Black and White, they did, and I think that worked for that game. But I feel like if you keep trying to make them serious, or you're trying to make them a competent team or antagonist all the time, it gets tired. Pretty sure they're done with Dead Rising. Um, I would just like another Dead Rising one. I think it would be do a remake. Imagine if it got like... Um, a Resident Evil 2 slash 3 slash 4 remake done to the first game. The best you'll get with uh, 1 and 2 re-releases? Yeah. I think you got me into DR1. Oh yeah? After listening to you and Chilla talking about it and then renting it back in the day. And renting games! Oh my god, fucking renting games! Remember that? Rumbi Rezus! <laughs> You're correct, Sylveon is pure fairy. Fantastic. Okay. I, that could be an option as a fairy type on my team, which is a fairy that I don't mind. Um, okay, we could do that. I do have an Eevee here, and it does have baby doll eyes. From my understanding, it needs to be very happy and also have a fairy type move, and then it will evolve into a Sylveon, I think. We could do that. Oh, no, hang on. Okay, I would like a fighting type. I have a fighting flying right now, but I feel like flying is already kind of sorted out given I have... Oh, no, wait, he is Grass Ghost now. Shit. He does have Pluck, though. Hmm. 
Okay, but I do want to replace Char. Even though he's a really great addition to my team, he doesn't evolve. So I feel like I'm kind of done with him. I know what you're thinking. These ones don't evolve either, but they evolved at some point. I've got no good reason other than I just want to replace him at this point. And then maybe Marowak. I feel like I'm kind of done with Marowak. Maybe a dedicated fire type. Or maybe a normal and a fairy type to take over these two. Hmm. Not sure. Appreciate the look, dude. We have time to think about it. <laughs> you, you hit him before he refuses to conform to Darwin's whims. Honestly, I'm very picky about my Pokemon that don't evolve. I don't know why. There's, there's exceptions to the rule. Well, kind of. A Snorlax was an exception to the rule. Until, you know, they gave him a baby form, so now he's in evolution. I want to see, mate. What was this thing called again? Sandegeist or something. Sandgeist. What a Pokemon. <laughs> Good shit. Look at him. Sandegeist. Gast. Sandegast, sorry. Brrr. Right, is Ghost weak against... Oh, wait, he's weak against water? Do it. Take a drink while this is happening. Where's my drink? My favorite Pokemon, Living Sand. Oh, by the way, if people would like to share their favorite Pokemon, I'm always interested to hear it. Always. Wills, this is a great choice. Sandigast is awesome. Shnom! Yeah. Big ups to Shnom. It's better than dead sand. Ay. The shiny version of this thing, I think, was uh, like a black sand variant, which I think is really neat. I like it when they, they do a thoughtful shiny. As a person who loves... Wh whose favorite Pokemons have terrible shinies. I love Arcanine. I love Gengar. And I think they have awful shinies. I think Snorlax is fine. Sometimes I wish it was a bit more than what they gave him. Because he's kind of just like a bluer tint. But it, I don't mind subtle changes. Munchlax is a close second. Munchlax is great. You already know who I like. But yeah, for the class though, Pebs. For the class though. Is it round by any chance? Uh, my favorite to have on my team is Lucario. Lucario is a hell of a shout. My favorite that I would like to have for real as a pet is Eevee. Also, fantastic shout. Like, both of them? <laughs> Are they both round? They can't be too round. Pokemon, oh, surely. Auditions feel, yeah. What a pairing. You know, Pebs, maybe we should talk about potentially having a Sphiel variant of that Oddish that you... Of the Pebish. What would we call it? A Pebish? A Befiel? Oh, God, this is hard. Sphiel and Pebish. Oh, hang on. Sphiel and Pebs. Pebfiel? Ooh, I don't know about that. Yeah, Sphiel is pretty good. Sorted. Alright, um, what's to the right of here before we go the other way? Ah, I remember this area. In the original, I mean. Like, I, it's kind of coming back to me a little bit. So I feel like I came back here numerous times to this particular thing. I don't know why now. Well, hang on. I might be getting it mixed up with another one because I know... Whoa! That was a complete accident. Secret base? Oh shit. Sorry, kid. Schwebs. Schwebs is pretty good. I have a little robot Eevee on my desk that responds to touch and sound. Oh, no way! I also actually won a big Eevee plushie in one of those mobile claw games apps. Super lucky. That's awesome, Janikin. I'd love to see that. I We have a... Um, <clears throat> we have a... Oh, here it is. We have a Mimikyu plushie that Speck loves to bit. 
bits and I did buy her when we were in Japan. Uh, I bought her a Wulu plushie. And now the Wulu plushie is just a victim of our cat. Um, sure, let's just do this. Why not? I have a massive spiel plush. What? And also a small one. Holy shit, Wills. Mad respect. <laughs> just about to say. <laughs> I have a Pikachu dressed as a Mimikyu for Halloween plushie. That's awesome. I know exactly which one you're talking about. Like four feet by four feet. Holy shit, Wills. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's the, the disguise thing goes down first. Damn it. All right, well, uh, I guess, fuck it, man. Um, hit him with this. Yeah, that'll do. I feel like the world is one bad decision away from me ending up with a massive feel, uh, feel plush. I feel like the world, hmm. I feel like, I feel like the world would be a better place with you ending up with a massive sphere plush. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Do it, Pebble. You must. I think, honestly, if we were to be brutally honest, Pebbles, isn't it just a matter of time? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Okay, we're all on the same page. Like, it'd be nice if it already happened, but we're all under the assumption it's going to happen. My spinner spots have got to take the top spot. The scattering of my faint spots on a fur field of fur. I could feast my eyes on them all day. That's kind of creepy. If you want to know which spinder has the best spots here, there's no way to put any spin on it. It's obviously this one here on the right. Look how deep and rich the coloration is. And the positioning, it's positively out. I find this very uncomfortable. I think you're all beautiful. You're all perfect. Ooh, what's this? I'm not sure what this device is for, but it looks pretty awesome. Hmm. Dexio and Cena came to the Alola region in search of a Pokemon called Zygarde. Ah. If you manage to cast a Zygarde in Alola, please come let us know. Right. I will. You'll be the first person I'll let know. I haven't even really been buying them. People just give them to me. Sick. The dream. It's lovely. That is lovely. The nectar that lets Oricoro your in forms is a bit different from the meadow. Than... Ah, okay. Oh, um, I saying that, you just reminded me. I was gifted a Pokemon plushie. One Geordie gave me a sleeping Gengar plushie. And he's fucking adorable. And he's always by either on my desk or my table over there, which I'm pointing at, which you can't see, but I'm pointing. It's important that you know that I'm pointing. Uh, Ula Ula Meadow. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Um, who's next? I guess I could use Marowak a little bit. Do I not have, like, a dedicated Marowak? Um, Irium or whatever. Hang on. I think it's been a while since I've looked at Um, uh, Ethereum, Water, Electrium. I feel like I should just give that, because why not? You got... Already holding Silver Powder. That's for bug moves, I think, isn't it? Um, yeah, sure. Glass, Phytium, Rockium, Ghostium. Deciduum. Ah, it's a Lycan one. That's what I got last. Okay, never mind. I forgot I got the Lycan one. I don't have a Lycan rock. Hello. Let me guess. You were wondering what a golfer would be doing in a meadow like this. If you want an answer to that question, then defeat all of the trainers in this meadow first. Aren't you assuming I care that much?
Oh, it's this person. Oh my, if it isn't as a Dokken, where might you be off to? Uh, poor town. Isn't that where Team Skull makes its base? Such awful thugs they are, tormenting poor Pokemon for no good reason. I swear, I just don't know what to do with them. And just look at me, would you? Here I am, taking the initiative to travel to Alola on my own to check on how Pokemon are doing. I've been trying to think through this Necrozma issue on my own. That sort of noble dedication is what you would expect of a president, even. Don't you agree? What is it about people who are the opposite of humble, I guess really braggy, that makes them so unlikable? <laughs> like, instantly unlikable. Not that a foolish child could... I mean, the fact that he's calling him foolish. Ahem! I mean, not that I would expect you to know. Anyhow, do try to stay safe. Don't say I didn't warn you about Team Skull. Oh wait, does uh, Thingy have something new to tell me? Oh, nope, he's fine. Okay, well, GG's. Uh, what are those things? Okay, well, she clearly wants to fight. Fine, come on. Let's fight all the people in this area. <clears throat> And see if there's any interesting Pokemon here we can catch and then get to the next area. I'm in no rush today. I'm, I like your idea about waiting 80 months there, Wills. Uh, I returned from super awesome Monday morning meeting party. Hey, I assume it went just as awesomely as any other week, bro. This shouldn't do a ton of damage, right? Hmm. It'll do more than I would have liked. I guess because it's sunny, isn't it? Hmm. Foolish fool who foolishly dreams of foolish dreams. Don't be foolish. You foolish fool wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. <laughs> a foolish fool with a foolish uh, sieve for a braid only speaks foolishly with foolish words. Why does your Marowak have a fiery stick? Oh, you know, Deacon, it's one of those. He also had like a fantastic meeting one day and it resulted in him having this stick. We've all been there. Yo, Whimsicott though. Uh, Whimsicott, I think we should hit with fire. Is Whimsicott a, fa a fairy grass? That, seem that seems like a, a joining of what this thing is, right? What is this? Is fire? It is. Yeah, Dazzling Gleam is definitely fairy move. Come on. Must be. Here we go. Hiya! Da, 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 da. But to answer your question more seriously, my Marowak is an Alolan Marowak. It's a regional variant. And he is ghost fire type. He's not even ground typing anymore. Uh, does this Marowak have a depressing story for the uh, for the Cubones as well? Probably. I don't think his Pokedex entry is that depressing in this one particularly. But I can only imagine that it's a bit more depressing than the usual one. <laughs> we love the prankster Tailwind. <laughs> I, uh, I accidentally killed a shiny Whimsicott <clears throat> in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. That happened to me. It was very sad. Hey, Indigo, welcome in. Good to see you. Day is going well so far. Thank you. How are you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Floet, here we go. That's another one. Is that one fairy as well, or is it just grass? Guess we'll find out now. Oh, I guess I don't know. Let's see if I can burn it. It looks grassy to me. No, huh? It's not grass. It must just be pure fairy. 
the fuck did that do? Uh, I don't know much about Marowak's moves, to be honest. 6100. Yeah, I know a false swipe. 5090? 50, 50, I guess Brutal Swing? How does, um... I'm trying to remember now off the top of my head. How does Dark and uh, Fairy interact with one another? I know that, um... I know that Fairy is weak to Steel. I think it's resistance to Dark. Uh, nothing much, playing Ultra Kill. Oh yeah, Ultra Kill! God, I haven't seen that in a while. Trying to rank... Uh, trying to P-rank missions. I got Minos now. I just need Sif S uh, Sisyphus. Gotcha. Why don't NPC trainers need to go to the Pokemon Center when you defeat them? Oh, uh, Deacon, every single one of them is doing a Nuzlocke. So as soon as I beat the shit out of their Pokemon, they just fucking release them. They're done with them. Don't give a shit anymore. It's brutal, honestly. Down, down. Oh, that did decent damage. Yeah, I'll take it. I wonder if we're going to see a special uh, Floet or Float or whatever in uh, Pokemon Legends ZA. Was that what it's called? ZA. AZ. AZ. Was it AZ or ZA? I forget now. What you meowing at, Naga? What's up? Oh, there's a Pokeball there. Hang on. Oh, there's an item here. Hang on. Da -da -da. Repeat ball! Big fan of repeat balls. Oh, Nectar. I guess this is for those, uh, those birds that have the different styles. Forms even. Legends Pizza. Can't wait for Legends Pizza. It's gonna be so delicious. Uh, okay. This bird, no effect on the ground type move. I guess that makes sense. We'll swing it. Captivate. I like the little animations and the little feather fingers there. It's kind of cute. That did nowhere near as much damage as I was hoping it would do. Um, is that going to be too much? Might be too much. Hang on. Uh, we can just assume they have a lot of portions. Yeah. Like a lot of revives and portions. There we go. That That's actually a lot kinder than what I said. Yeah, I like that one, actually. That's my new head cannon. Uh, Minus Prime is the Greek mythic god that was the king of Crete, son of Zeus and Europa. Huh. I forget. I, I, it's very difficult to keep up the spawn of Zeus these days. You know what I mean? Did not survive. Maybe next time. But Sisyphus I'm familiar with. Hello, would you like a fight? Can you, can you fight me from there? Oh, you can! You know about super strong Pokemon? I do not. Is Zeus getting a lot more spawns lately? I feel as though he never slowed down. <laughs> he always plays the victim as well. But it's just... I mean, I'm, I don't want to... I don't want to throw shade on the fella. Like, he just likes to fuck. Like, who am I to tell him what to do in his life, you know? Is this part ice? I feel like it could be part ice. Uh-oh. Hey, I was right for once. Speed, speed up. Does that mean I can use this quicker than he can hit me? Nope. <laughs> slowed down in that in these recent years you reckon Deacon hey twist welcome in buddy how you doing good to see you Bon wait what sorry BNA excuse me what? what's going on ah the twist of wills is now complete again finally uh Kamala I think it's just straight up normal type part ice thank you okay 
I'm in them. <laughs> True wills. <laughs> Sorry, walls. Uh, that's what the FF14 call me. Hang on, what do they call you? Bon? BNA? They call you Bene? Uh, let's just do that. I don't want to go crazy here. There we go. Bene? Am I pronouncing it correctly? Uh, no, I'm Buni, Buni, Ibene, gotcha. Okay, that that makes sense. I felt like I had a better grasp of the whole Zeus having a lot of sex than this. <laughs> you can share. <laughs> uh, this must be something around here. Hang on. What are we doing? Oh, wait there. We can just go in the grass. I thought this was wall. See what's in here? Uh, does Ben, Bon, or Bonaire hurt your feelings? I think I'm good for it. Oh, it's Robombi! That is a fairy type. Look at that. All right, we don't want to kill him. Hi, kitty. Kitty has noticed my existence, and it... Is he tired? Okay, let me see if I can put him to sleep. Would he? Oh, he is tired. All right, sorry people. Give me, be a bit patient with me. I'm just gonna try to pet the kitten. Try to put him to sleep. He's currently making biscuits on me and purring. I'm gonna be playing with one hand for a bit. That shouldn't be too difficult, I guess. It is a turn-based game, thankfully. Um, this shouldn't kill it. Ah, Robombi's so small. Oh god, it's part bug, isn't it? Also, Peps, I don't care what I'm called, as long as it doesn't hurt my feelings. Aww. I mean, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I'll call you Squiggles. What if it hurt my feelings? Nah, I think we're good wills. Robenby! I like Robenby. Pretty good. Uh, he's a funny thing at this year, I think, in January, February, the largest desert in Antarctica. And I found it out at that time. Huh? The largest desert, sorry, is Antarctica. What? Like an ice desert or desert desert? I'm confused. Nah, it's second nature. I had a manager call me Benjamina Ballerina for years. But yeah, I don't mind. Oh, that's... That's like... Somehow... How do I word it? It's like the opposite of creative. I don't know. I, I There's no joy it when I read out Benjamina Ballerina. I was like, what? Had a boss call me Willy Weasel for like four months and I fucking hated it. That's also... Terrible. Who are all these fucking shitty bosses? Uh, it can predict the weather from moisture levels and wind direction. Ribombi only reveals itself when there are a few clear days in a row. Oh. I'm glad we managed to catch it on the stair. Oh, you had honey on it. Huh. The larger desert, it's Antarctica? I don't think I'm quite understanding what you mean. Is it a technicality? My boss called... Um, Lewis, and that was absolutely... Hang on. My boss, B. B. Lewis, and that was absolutely wild. That is kind of wild. That would be kind of wild. To, to be fair, my boss was sound, was at her wedding and everything. I miss her, to be fair. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm glad they weren't just all, you know, defined by terrible nickname giving. I've had my ups and downs with bosses, for sure. I've had some terrible employers, and I've had some really good ones. Mm. 
Hi, Naga. What's up, buddy? You look very sleepy. Do you sleep? Yeah, you are. I mean, I worked at a warehouse uh, at the time. It's just a, a shit environment. Oh, that's a shame, dude. I just like um, Goldilock. He wasn't a A. Lewis or C. Lewis. He was right in the middle. <laughs> Why is Antarctica the largest desert? Uh, what is the largest desert on Earth? Universe today, Antarctica. In terms of sheer size, the Antarctic... Oh, is that its name? Desert is the largest desert on Earth, measuring a total of 13.8 million square kilometers. Right, okay. Coldest, windiest, and most isolated continent on Earth, and it's considered a desert because its annual precipitation can be less than 51. Oh, I'm with you. Right, okay. So it is technically a desert, right. Sure, I could battle you, yeah, why not? I, I always like it when they ask me permission. Yeah. On oh, the Meredith, what you got? water yeah I guess electricity would have been good actually <clears throat> would have been part flying oh. Oh. <laughs> kitty got interested by the noise you're okay buddy there you go yeah yeah, yeah. you rest here you're good it's just my, it's just Sailor Moon transformation outfit changing, don't worry. Oh, you're good, see? Put my keyboard out the way before he sleeps on it. Love you, Naga. He is very tired. We have been playing with him quite a bit, I think. Oh wait, did that not take? There we go. Hey, oh, oh my god, it is Pebs on a Thursday. It's bad up, it's, it's Bataz Pebs. <laughs> Tuesday, but close enough. Oh my god, it's on Tuesday? Yo, sick. Do, Pebs, do I have an outfit for you tomorrow? <laughs> I'm so glad you're playing through uh, Arkham Asylum. I cannot wait to play that game again. What a game. And I guess just the, the Batman Arkham series in general. I've been watching uh, Anime Titty Fan play through. Uh, I watched most of his Asylum play, and I've watched some of his City play. I wonder if he's done with City just yet. City is a, b a bigger game, though. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speedrunner who joined in. That's awesome. Not gonna fuck with another one of these. Really do with catching one, I guess. Over this way. Uh, that crumbling old shrine. What do you think happened to it in the past? I don't even remember this. Oh no, tell a lie. This is where you go to get the. Um, I had Pokemon Sun before, so this was a Sun Sun Galeo or whatever. I think. Switch to this one. We. 
Uh, she crumble on my shrines till I'm in the past. Gosh darn it. Shaggy! Welcome in, Shag. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Shag, what's the uh, coffee situation today, mate? Sp speak your your sweet sh your sweet coffee ways to me, please. There'll be something around here, right? No, really. <laughs> Morning, all. Uh, I got some tea uh, this day, but oh, wonderful! This is the shrine at the end. Okay, I guess we'll come back here later. You know, maybe that's the answer today, Shag. Maybe I should just go tea. Clove, welcome in, Clove. How you doing, Clove? Good to see you too. Happy just a time zone to you too. Holy shit, Shag! Hang on, hang on. Yo, yo, Unbelievable. Yo, yo. Shaggy is now the mug ruler. T M. Shaggy just came in here, kicked down a door, and it was like, mate, give me a bolt. Alright, I'm opening up Photoshop, mate. I'm on it. I'm on it. Alright, I can do this. I can do this in a timely fashion. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And at the same time, I'll pull up my uh my thing. I can make this more expensive. You kitty, it's okay. You're alright. All right, I'm, I'm wrestling with a cat at the moment. Oh, he's moving. I think it's a bit warm for him today. So he doesn't want too much touching, but he wants to be nearby. Right. Shaggy, 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 shaggy. Like a shaggy to me. Go back over to this one. I think I need to extend the time um, for how long it takes me to do this. Because the, the file just opens up so slowly when I'm doing other stuff. There we go. Let me go the and make this of <laughs> slightly more expensive. Oh. Uh, Spec, keep an eye out for Kitty. Because he's off my lap and he could be on the floor somewhere. Asleep. Thank you so much for the redeem, Shag. Please enjoy your Bolt Hello. energy drink. Please drink responsibly. Oh, fuck. Thank you. Hang on, it's a good job I mentioned about the Kitty being somewhere on the floor and being careful. Hooray! Hooray! Let me, let me get up and sort that out for you. Hang on, hang on. I can do this. Directly. Oh, sure. What's in it? Is it cranberry? Thank you. Oh, thank you for the redeem. And welcome in again, Shag and Clove. Hope you're both well. Oh. Okay, how are you guys? Yeah, doing all right, Clove. Doing all right. Oh, did I mention, actually, um, Spec has fixed my pajamas. My pajamas have been sewn. They're holding together by the will of Spec. I'm very happy about. Uh, as a Brit, I approve of Shaggy's choice of drink. A oh, bite of like a chomp the thunder. I have to go and pick up the children from school. Have a great day, everyone. You too, Clara. Thank you so much again for the sub. I really appreciate it. Have a good one. Looking forward to seeing you stream some of the uh, another crab's treasure. I will drink for evil. There we go. Man, often what a game. What a time. I feel like I've been slacking on the hugs lately. Oh, I don't feel like that's the case at all, Wills. I think you're good. Thank you. Uh, we were just trying to figure out exactly what this would be called, Clove. This is the outfit for... I'm, I'm basically um, advertising for Pebs' stream tomorrow. I won Winter Pebbles. Hang on, I've got the keyboard on me, so why not? I'm here. Winter Pebbles is doing some Arkham Asylum tomorrow. I don't know if you've heard of him. Highly recommend checking it out. It's going to look a lot like my outfit tomorrow in there. There we go. You know, while I'm here, fucking, I've got a keyboard and I've got the authority. 
Go and check out this guy as well. You know, I've got a keyboard here, why not? Hang on. Shit, is that, is that, is that how you spell it? Oof, okay. Oof, that was close. I wasn't sure if it was Maximus or Maxima. That, that was, that was dangerous. Ah! That was very dangerous. That was close. <laughs> the mock. <laughs> I think that's everything. If I haven't, if I haven't shouted you out, just know that I have in my heart. <laughs> oh shit, hang on, my controller's not working anymore. There we go. Frame, thank you. I was just watching Frame yesterday. We raided Frame because Frame was doing Neo 2. That was really fun to watch. Honestly, it really made me want to go back and play some Neo. God, Neo is such a good game. I'm actually not all that good in fights, but no one will pick fights with me as long as I'm in Team Skull, you know? What about that, mate? Is this the police station? Yeah, of course for him. And thanks for the shout out, Pebs. I do recommend for him, if you know anyone who's got it, I assume you're playing on PC, right? For Neo 2. I thought that's what I could see in the interface. It looked a bit different when I was playing it on PlayStation. I do recommend trying out the multiplayer. It works really well in that game. Like, not even, like, you don't have to do it first time for bosses if you want to play it. You know, like a Souls game where you're, you're the one taking on the bosses first. But you can always replay levels with a friend and it's a, it's a good time. There's a lot of fucking Meowth in here. Is all this above board? Like, I'm a bit scared. All the totem stickers where you get the Zygarde things, because so far it seems like it. If so, that's quite lazy. All the totem stickers way. I don't know, because um, in the previous game, you just found Zygarde cube bits, you know? I don't think it had anything to do with the stickers specifically. I think the stickers is like a separate currency for something else. I could be wrong. Zygarde! <laughs> I don't know where that got to be. Uh, where I can, oh, I see. I could go around or I could fight them by going through. The, yeah, sure. I'll fight them. Why not? The Ohio Zizzler. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll tackle some of these. Is there a Pokemon Center around here? Or do I need to keep going back to the previous one? Yeah, I want a dedicated fighting type, just to plow through all these dark types as well. Um... Here we go. Dance for me. Yeah, the cells, that's it. I remember one being in that house and also some of the other places you've been. Yeah, me too. I don't know whether or not that's a thing that starts up post-game or further in, or whether or not they replaced it with something else in this one. I'm not sure, Twist. You might be right. Maybe it's the stickers now. I'm not sure. I will try the multiplayer out once I understand most of the game for sure. Yep, highly recommend it. It's a good time. There's a Pokemon Center in Poor Town. Sick. Okay. Then I will keep pushing forward a bit more. Haunter. Haunter, 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 Haunter. Um, which one of y'all has like a bite move? Crunch. That'll do. Clawful! Welcome, Clawful. Lovely to see you. How you doing? I was not expecting to see you this late. How are you? What a wonderful surprise. Uh-oh. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, we got the crunch out. That's all that matters. I hope you're a good clawful. I'm glad the kitten's working today, look at that. I'm good thanks taking some days off this week, so the golden week isn't uh, a misnomer. Ah, nice, good idea. Yeah, God, I should have thought about golden week, because I remember while I was in Japan, golden week and fasting season were basically right next to each other, and then on top of one another, and then next to each other again. I'm glad they've separated at this point. But yeah, I hope you get a good holiday. I think there's going to be a holiday here soon, but not Golden Week. It's like um, Easter. Is Easter happening? 1st of May is Labor Day. Then Easter. And then elections. Understood. Okay. Lots of holidays happening in the Macedonia. I'm expecting a lot of uns, 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 uns music going on. Because they take any fucking excuse to party around here. Uh, I'm gonna go back to work. Everyone have a fun kick some ass and be creative. You too, Twist. Have a good one, buddy. I hope you beat the work today. Uh, this is an Ekans. Can I punch the Ekans? That doesn't seem like a thing I can do. Nope. Down, 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 down. Yeah, I hope the Golden Week's good for you, Clawful. Uh, I got some stuff I need to tell you at some point. Yeah, yeah, me too. Me too, I got some stuff as well. Do it again. Uh, when is the Macedonian Easter? I assume then it'll be like the second of them. Uh, Friday, the Friday from the first of, like, the first Friday of May, I guess, is Easter Friday. This week. Oh, this week. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, of course, we're hitting into May. God damn it, it's May already. Yo, it's a Fero. Just straight up Fero. Level 33 Fero. I haven't caught one of these yet? Huh. The passage of time, I know. It's terrifying, isn't it? I didn't think that would kill it. Uh, is there a special food for Easter over there? Yes, that is the most in question so important thing to me. You know, I don't actually know. There is, I'm sure Speck will know and let us know. I wonder if it's egg. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, Ariados. I do like this. The Spinarak is so cute, though. It's going to be super effective. I don't... Mm. If it survives, I'll throw a ball. It did not. All is mine. Egg is good. Egg is great. And paint them beautifully here, right? Boom, ba -ba -da -bum. I do miss all the silly Easter, the chocolate Easter egg stuff in the UK. I'm going through a big egg phase at the moment. Your shout out to Adam's egg phase. T t tell me more about it, dude. What have you been doing to the eggs? Inspire me. Oh, you look, it's a Scraggy. Scraggy is like, um, is it dark fighting or did I make that up? Hang on. Oh, it's definitely part fighting. Poaching them, yo! I love a good poached egg. I often just, I'm too lazy to do that. But I do like the presentation. <laughs> the egg arc. <laughs> it was just a matter of time, wasn't it? Until it became egg-shaped. 
Sticking them on bagels. Hmm, <laughs> stop. <laughs> bit of salt, bit of pepper. That does sound incre incredible. That sounds really good. Yo, what's up? You wanna join Team Skull? Hold up, is that a Zed Power Ring? For real? You're actually on the island challenge? Alright then, I get it. Came to laugh at us losers who gave up on the island challenge, huh? You showed up so suddenly and got the nerve to laugh at me? I don't think that's how this went down. Uh, you can poach an egg super easy with a colander. Uh, pretty dyed and painted eggs sound lovely, right? Stick the colander in the pot of boiling water and crack the egg in, in it. Huh. Yeah, that would do it. I, I always thought that you needed like a big um, pan, pot, whatever, so that it could swirl around. But I've actually done it in a really small one because that's all I had at the time. With a little bit of, um, I don't know if it was vinegar or something, I'll have to look it up again. And then like swirled it a tiny bit and I can only do one egg at a time. But it worked really well. What are we doing here? Oh yeah, all this is super effective. Kill that. Uh, this thing... Oh, it's steel type, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Sure. Like taking it out, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong, vinegar, yeah. But the colander trick is without fail. Huh. I put some eggs in a frying pan, ye. Oh, in a frying pan? I've never done it in a frying pan before, dude. The fuck? Alright. Let's take care of this thing. looking forward to uh adam moving out someday getting his own kitchen so we can have like the the adam food stream I'm gonna be a big fan when this occurs i mean wouldn't it need to be a fairly big spoon how small are these eggs adam you there boy Uh, there'll be many Adam cooking streams. Ye, I'm excited. Awesome. Seems to me you're trying to get into poor town. You sure you thought this through? You better be ready if you're thinking of coming in here. Ready to live as Team Skull. Or ready to take on Team Skull. You really think you're ready for that? I am? I guess everyone has their own reasons. I've got my reasons too. For doing what I do. I'll have them let you in. If you don't make it. I'll be sure your remains at least get back home. God, what a setup. Oh yeah, I remember. It was like like Splatoon Town up in here. This is kind of cool. Huh? What's this numbskull doing here? What? Oh, what should we do? Forget about it. We've got this barricade. I mean, we've got this barricade. Oh, he said he said the Pokemon's name. Uh, do you really want to bother moving it out of the way just to take on one kid? True, true. Go on, go. You're not coming in here. Got it? Not unless you find some path through here. Dot, dot, dot. Well, if only there was a path through here. Oh, I see. There's the hole in there. Oh, wait. Why is he sad again? Oh, there we go. He just wants to be put. Oh, we get another lotto today? What the fuck is going on? Holy shit. Another one? Dude, how big are your eggs? <laughs> how big is my spoon? How big are your eggs? I'm just saying, mate. If I put a cracked egg on a spoon and put it into hot water, it's not staying in that spoon. How big is the fucking spoon? How small are your eggs? Uh, Shaggy, weren't you going to do a cooking stream or something? Really? Shaggy, I'd be down for that. Climbing over a three foot wooden barricade, <laughs> physically impossible, would never happen. Oh shit, I need to press a button. Hey, look at that, it's an amazing power. Our prize money, sick. Standard eggs! Mate, I, Adam, listen, I need you to crack an egg over a spoon. 
And you go and do it. Not right now, I guess. Just whenever you get a chance. I want to see how much of that egg remains on the spoon. <laughs> Maybe I'm just skilled with egg spooning and don't realize it. Have you been sex spooning, Adam? Hmm? Look at me, Adam. Have you been sex spooning? Isn't why my eggs are small. It's why yours are so damn big. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I'm looking forward to it, Shag. I'll, well, I consider you dipping the, um, the salted crisp in the coffee to be like a sneak peek. Like a little tease. Dude, are you hard-headed? Your skull must be rock. You shouldn't have come in here, yo. Now I'm gonna make you regret it. Alright, okay, well, fine. Choice strong way. Whose opinions? Spinner rack. Uh, we can burn this thing, right? Oh wait, we got char. Uh, if it's bug or grass, then flying. Yeah. I love expressing my strong opinions on food. A. We love some strong opinions around here. I want to go back in time and tell myself to not battle you. Holy shit. You know, I had, this, I had the strangest thought the other day. No, it wasn't even the other day. It was this fucking morning about time travel. Um, and like the idea of like the technology of time travel and what we could do with it if humanity could be trusted. You know what I mean? Like, how cool would it be if we had the ability... Let's just say we can't travel through time, right? But we could make a stasis chamber where time stops. Yeah? So, like, some people want to do that and encase themselves in it and then wake up in however many years to be in the future. But, like, how wonderful would it be to just go out to a bakery and they've just got lanes and lanes of this stuff because they make a product and they put it in there to keep it fresh? How fucking baller would that be? And you'd be like, can I have a couple of these donuts? fucking fresh donuts all the time and you take it home and you know they're expensive right so you've only got a small one yourself but it's enough room you could stick a loaf of bread in there and that loaf of bread gonna be great tomorrow because it's like it's just been fucking made I stick up st yeah stasis chambers this is the future <laughs> I'm just saying wouldn't that be really cool wouldn't that be nice can't we live in that kind of world Man. Ugh. Uh, I'm amused the way this Pokemon's name is pronounced. Sounds exactly like the Afrikaans word. Spiderweb? Spinnerack. Ooh, I wonder if it's a coincidence or not. Hey, there's the pesto. I just want a pantry. <laughs> Hang on. If I get myself in a pantry, will I not age anymore? Is that how a pantry works? Hang on. Imagine how great bread would be if you had time travel. Listen, Deacon, I feel like you're taking this out of context. <laughs> you're not wrong. That is what I said. But you know what I mean? You could just keep it fucking fresh in there, you know? How great would that be, though? Uh, we needed that barricade after all. Come on, hold back a little. Oh. Yeah, they're both done. Let me get in this Pokemon Center. Oh my god, look at this place. Ready for fly rhymes in your ear, yo. But yo, what are you doing here, yo? Yo, it's darker than dark rye up in here, yo. I'm getting scared like I met with a fero. Ain't nobody around. I'm feeling kind of down. But I'm still holding it down here in poor town. Hey, yo, spin it, spinder. Sp spin, S -s -s spin. So listen up, intruder. She wants money. But it's always eludes her. Team Skull represent. We can't pay the rent. Had a lot of fun. But our youth was misspent. This Pokemon Center is where we cower. But we can't pay bills. So we got no power. If you give us 10 poker dollars. We will help you out. By healing your team. Before your next bout. Sounds good yo. No thanks yo. I'm going to say no thanks. Just to see what happens. Team Skull represent, we never forget. 
That'll be a choice you live to regret. Oh, is that, is that, hang on. They're just going to charge me every time I need to fucking heal my Pokemon? What's up with that? I'm going to gently peel the sticker off. Pedrazi, what the fuck are you up to, mate? I mean, Hypno. Uh-huh. Alright, okay. This Pokemon Center is okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Fine. I'll fucking pay you. <laughs> I knew we could count on you, yo. Thanks to you, we can make do, yo. I guess it's like giving money to charity at this point with these Hello. guys. Oh, there's another one. Hang on. Let me just sip this. Thank you. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Because I need a hug after spitting those rhymes. Hang on. Straight spitting. Not gonna lie, I thought I remembered it being more expensive, huh? Maybe in the um, Sun and Moon it was a different price, Wills? Maybe they knocked it down a tiny bit for this one? I don't know. <laughs> Ten dilla. <laughs> Good deal. <laughs> Fucking steal. I've never been prouder of this man. Oh, because of the, the bread thing, not because of the rhymes I was spitting. For a moment there, I thought, holy shit, she wants me to spit rhymes instead. But it changed the stream completely. Um, what are we doing? I can't decide, let's just keep going. Right. Uh, nothing over here. Look, listen, I'm just saying, right, if humans could be trusted and that technology was a thing, how more convenient life could possibly be for us, you know? It'd just be nice. It'd be nice to constantly have fresh things. Hear me out. What if you could have that power, that stasis power, right? But you have it in, like, satchel form. It only lasts for, like, a period of time. But people put that in, like, your pizza box when they come to deliver it to you. So you get a box, and, like, you'll have a little timer on it saying, hey, this is under stasis right now. Give it another minute. But as soon as it's over, because by the time they deliver it, it should be over. They can rip it off the seal or whatever. Time goes back to normal. But the pizza doesn't know that. The pizza's just, like, as if it just came out the fucking oven. It would be so cool. I want to live in that future. But that's what I'm saying, like, if humanity could be trusted. Because, you know, we're humans. We can't be trusted. People will do some god-fucking-awful things with that. And it wouldn't be cheap. And I can imagine, like, some people, like, really investing in it. Yo, you want to fight? There we go. And, like, buying some for, like, um, uh, preservation purposes, you know? Like a mint condition Pokemon card. Been in stasis from the day it was unpacked. Uh, how can a lack of time passing last for a certain period of time? I'm talking about if we had the technology to control time, but it's not a real thing. It's time within time? Yeah, as in within that one place, it's a stasis. It's like, it's just trapped, like a, a small pocket of time which doesn't time. Uh, could you trap a currently exploding grenade? Anything, anything within the space is not moving in time. It's just paused. And it might be dangerous, but I have to work out the kinks here. Like, we might need to, like, fucking have special gloves to get in there, you know? <laughs> Fuck is all for it. <laughs> Shaggy's like, no, don't do it. I'm getting mixed reception. <laughs> uh, I don't think I use X's very much, so let's do that for a change of pace. That was good for me. Wow, 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 wow. Um, let's go right first. Oh, there's two people there, I just noticed. Whoops. Oh. Double skull. Grunt. Bull bat and rat kit, sure. 
Bum, 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 bum. All right, I might need to switch one of these fellas out. Um, flying press should take care of the radicate because it's part dark type. Floor bro. Oh, because it's poison. Is that why this is effective? Nice. Uh, could use this is to keep my ice cold enough to keep my drinks cold enough. Yeah, that would work. I love in the night um, watch day watch um, so on series by uh, Sergei Lukyanenko. The magic users have bottled smells from certain decades, like a really good rainstorm that happened back in the 40s, or really clean air from 1820 or so on. That's really cool. The stasis cup holder. Yeah, that'd be cool. Pikmin aren't potential disastrous technology, so that's okay, Clove. Wait, what? Did I miss something? <laughs> He's dropping I just trust. Yeah, just living creatures. Expendable living creatures. There you go. This is what I mean. Oh. That's a really cool concept spec. Yeah. But this is what I mean. In the context of the book spec, it's really cool. Those magic users have used it for this purpose. And then, like, flash forward to, like, the reality. And people are, are selling, like, fucking jars filled with their farts. You know what I mean? Because this is the fucking world we live in. Y'all wouldn't be interested in my farts in a jar, right? Just I'm just asking for science. Because I need money. How much you would give me for a fart? Whoa, Spec, we don't want to kill him. I'll take that. There we go. Uh, I like to use stasis to prevent my switch from losing charge in standby mode. That's a fucking great idea, Wills. I'm, I'm just trying to think of the, the, what's the word? How that could be like make a battery pack that has that built in or something like that. Yo, Dan, welcome in. How you doing? Thanks for joining us. The gear. Next, you're gonna tell me that there is Madame Queer as well. <laughs> Not say you can't fool me. I wasn't born yesterday. Not fooling you, Shaggy. Absolutely not. Never. Not after you've had your cup of tea today. What was I thinking? Hello. Oh. Think of it. Th oh man, hang on. Would it work if you took like? Think of it this way: you could you could use the stasis thing, right? Um, to like fucking what's the word? I don't know if this would be a good use for it. Could you could maybe use it in an airplane over the passenger end of it, right? So people sit down and then they're in stasis. And so the person, you know, they, they'll take you to your destination, drop you off, but time hasn't changed for you, you know? No jet lag, nothing. They just picked you or put you down. You fucking blinked and you're there. Think of the applications, people. Uh, what do I want to do to this thing? Then headbutt it? Uh, sure. So okay, it's me. Well, thank you for taking the mantle, Dan. The T is a certified brain booster. A E. This is on an airplane. Seems very dangerous. Absolutely, Wills. We would have to work out the kinks. Cause like if the if the uh, pilot accidentally trips himself and falls into the stasis, everyone's gonna be in trouble. I'll do. Anyway, it's just a, it's a neat idea, I think, if we ever had technology like that. Sky attack. How many more um, flying moves can this thing learn? A second turn attack move where critical hits land more easily. This may also make the target flinch. 140 is a lot of damage, man. Um, and it is physical. 
bounce is not that uh, not that bad either, though. But I guess it doesn't. Oh, this is also on the second turn. Hmm. Sure. I don't use bounce a lot either. Uh, when I'm on an airplane, I'm in stasis anyway. I can get a 45-minute nap on a 30-minute airplane <laughs> ride. Those engines are on and I'm out cold. I've always struggled to sleep on an airplane, Deacon. Um, I envy you. I've, I've been on a plane so goddamn much as well. I'm going from, like, Japan to Europe. Like, what a fucking hassle that was. And that's, like, some of the... That's, like, 12 hours in the air. Uh, Salandit. Which one's this one? I think I'm good with Slowbro, maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is this little guy. He's... Is he fire? Yeah, okay, he's fire and seemingly he is poison. Cool. Is that just straight up poison? Motherfucker. Uh, I mean, I think I deserve that title at this rate. Eggman simp and all. Wait, we talk about like, um, Sonic the Hedgehog Eggman? <laughs> the god of sleep. <laughs> yes. Sandman me, Deacon, please. What's your secret, Deacon? No, legitimately though, Deacon, what is your secret? Is have you just are you just really good at falling asleep? Do you wear headphones? Uh where is Can't be bothered to head back. Games Eggman, yes, yeah, there we go. Oh, I need to go up there at some point. Yo, an Eggman PNG tube outfit would be kind of sick. I could definitely rock that massive tash. Ooh, there's a thing there. Hmm. So many trainers around here. My Formantis, it's eager to face a four. I think you're up to the challenge. I always forget the typing for Formantis. I always forget it exists. Uh, no idea, no headphones or anything. I just sit down and plop my head against the wall and I wake up when we land. Damn, Deacon, that's awesome, dude. I'm very happy that you got that. Do you suffer from much jet lag then? Jet lag being quite separate anyway. It's not about like... How much sleep you get and don't get, I guess, there's more time zone stuff going on. I have no feeling for Jimothy Carrison as Eggman, to be honest. Oh, uh, Jim Carrey as uh, the Eggman thingy. Yeah, I thought it was good casting. But I'm, I'm just thinking back to the movies. I have mixed feelings about the movies in general. I'm glad they exist. I think there's some really fun visuals and moments in those movies. But, like, I, it's kind of like the Matrix movies, where, like, in the Matrix movies, everything that happened outside the Matrix, I care very little about. In the Sonic movies, whenever Sonic is not on screen and it's just the humans having human issues or problems or drama or something, I care very little for it. We're on, yeah, um, fighting, maybe? Not you. Oh, wait, he is my fighting type, no? Oh, wait, is this poison? What is this thing? I have no idea what this is. No. Okay, it must be part psychic, maybe. Could it be psychic poison? Oh, there's a chance it could be, um... Not a ghost type. It could be a dark type. Excuse me, Eggman PG YouTuber? Where? <laughs> Just entertaining the idea, Clove. At some point, I think I mentioned it before, me and Sege are talking about um, starting up an, a, a Sonic weekly stream thing at some point. The people want it now. <laughs> Not much jet lag, but my sleep schedule is generally fucked regardless. Gotcha. Like the weird wedding side plot that was just get him to the island, and that was basically it. I fucking hated it, Pebs. I didn't think it was funny. I didn't think it was like, um, I didn't think it was good for adults. I didn't think it was good for kids. You know what I mean? I'm not a huge fan of slapstick for like 
kids when it's just like dumb humor, where they're just treating the kids like they're idiots or whatever. There's a place for slapstick humor, absolutely. But uh, at other times, I just find it incredibly tiresome. You can still have dumb comedy moments and make it funny. Like, I thought that whole thing with Sonic and Tails ending in that, um... Where were they? Were they in Russia somewhere? That was really fucking dumb, but I laughed. But the whole thing with the subplot with the wedding? Yeah. Hated it. Thought it was dumb as shit. <laughs> See, we're getting invaded over here. Uh... That sticker, though. Did I get that sticker? I guess I gotta go the other way around. Take this one. Uh, there are good human characters in the games you could adapt to. Uh, I mean, all Sonic just got compared to the Matrix. <laughs> it was a weird comparison, admittedly, but I fucking did it, Clove, and I'd do it again. <laughs> Please give Elise better writing. Which one's Elise? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. The, oh, the uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, Deacon. The, I think the second one specifically. There's like a whole wedding subplot. Like, basically in the Sonic movies, Deacon, I don't know if you've seen either of them. You've got Sonic, ECG, and uh, then you've got these other humans that he interacts with because he's in our quote-unquote real world or whatever. But, you know, they, they try to flesh out the human characters separate from Sonic, I, I guess, for like, they want you to care about them. But I, I just thought everything to do with the humans in that movie were kind of lame. But I thought Sonic, in on himself, was done well. Oh, this thing is is, is gonna, have, gonna cause my, my biting bird some issues. Um, it's part psychic, so I want to bite him, right? Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Hedgehog nonsense. I can't even remember uh, if I've seen uh, Sonic or not. Damn, Clove. <laughs> Do you remember the thing when they were in Russia in that pub? I only watched while I was stuck in bed the other week. So it's very uh, in my head, gotcha. Best iteration of Knuckles out there, though. Oh my god, Idris Elba as Knuckles? Get out of here. Come on. You nailed it. Uh, I thought Wills just said the hedgehog noises. I almost lost my shit. <laughs> I'm still picturing the bouncing around talking about the base of Paul. Elise is the love interest in six, right? For some reason, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hope the stuff goes well, Wills. Uh, I do not remember Sonic in a Russian pub. That sounds like a hallucination. Fuck. Honestly, that might have just been a hallucination then. Really felt like that kind of happened, but I, I totally accept that I might have dreamt it up too. The Human Princess from 6, yeah. She generally had a good arc, just written poorly because that game's plot was the first draft held together by duct tape. <laughs> I think duct tape is being generous, I'll be honest. Sonic and Tails did have a dance-off in a Scandinavian bar, there we go. Have to see it now, it was pretty good. I like that, but like it's dumb. It's not good. Hang on, I've got to be careful how I'm gonna word things here. Bob's gonna go into it. Like I'm, I'm looking forward to this good interaction. It was dumb as shit, but it was still like giggle worthy. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's stupid, but it's fun. It gets very shirtless, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really fucking dumb. It is Pebs, but I am honestly, when I was talking to Sege about like the early Sonic games and talking about which ones we'd like to revisit and stuff, I was kind of psyched. I think Sega would be up for like me doing any of the Sonic stuff, but personally for streaming and for playing, I'm going to go with nostalgia. My nostalgia for Sonic lies in the Dreamcast Sonic games, so Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Uh, for Mantis, I forget. Is this Psychic? Is it Fairy? Is it Grass? I don't remember. Immediately forgot about this thing. Okay, well, none of this stuff is good. If it's grass, then Marowak could burn it? Yeah, okay. Hot grass. Uh, 
Um, I'll be real, Elisa's great sin was being a girl in a video game. I mean, yeah, they do get a rough deal. Women, I'm a righty. <laughs> I'm a righty. <laughs> no, Clove, you can't take that back. I'm a righty. He's fantastic. Let's burn this thing. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Spec, can you add quote that? Oh, I love it. Bum, 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 bum. Inferno Overdrive, here we go. Had the organ! Done. I am nervous though, post like Sonic Adventure 2. If we did finish Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, right? I did own Sonic Heroes when I was young. But I'll be honest with you, I don't think I ever completed it. I, I actually think um, it was a bit too hard for me. I just couldn't get used to the jank on that. What am I doing here? Uh, today's secret team skull password is Poison Jab. Okay. Noted. I oh, found that on the floor. <clears throat> Sonic Heroes is rough. The jank is wild. I think if I was to play it again, honestly, I'd probably use safe states just to um, alleviate, like, the game over stuff. Not to, like, at every instance of, you know, going through the level. Or just I'd do it at the beginning of the level, and then if we run out of lives, I don't want to go right back to the beginning of, like, that whole thing or whatever. Or the title screen. However it works. The jank curve, yeah. Sometimes, like, jank can be kind of, like, how do I word it? In some games, I feel like you can get a grasp of the jank and you kind of lean into it. And you become one with the jank. And it can kind of get some fun out of it, you know? I feel like in Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, I kind of got used to it. And the jank and me were one. But with Heroes, I just never got a hold of it. It eluded me. So can I go down there? I can't. I kind of want to help him out there. Horus? Just to break that. Wait. How many fucking stickers are on this thing? Yo, those three? Holy shit. I did not know they could stick some stickers on stickers. Swift Marmoset. Ayy. Marmosets be cute. Uh, can we go out the other end? No, there's a door there. There is a way, I think. <laughs> Any stickers in chat? <laughs> Let it be known. I hear that Mr. Guzma never got a Z-ring uh, as a sort of handicap because he's too strong already. Damn. Oh, you want to fight? So sorry, as a stranger, you get a full course of my Pokemon's moves. Oh, nice. Any stinkers in chat? Uh, I think the kitten's asleep. Yeah, kitten's asleep. Kitten is not in chat right now. But he's definitely a stinker. Um, yeah, this, this, uh, piece of track. Is he not dark type? I guess he's not dark type. Is he poison then? Is that what he is? Like I should know this. Yeah, it looks like he is. All right. <laughs> Any orphan cats in chat? Let it be known. <laughs> uh, without the stinky emo, it looks like I'm just saying stinky. I hit that. Oh, I'm sorry, Clove. Is that an emote using the BTT thingy or what, a 7 TV thingy? I might be able to help out. I do want to add some more stuff to that. Recently, I noticed... Um, what was it? Was it in um, Rune's chat? That doesn't have the peep, people thingy. Yeah. yeah, Rune doesn't like the uh, the peep, people, whatever, pepo um, emote thingies. And does not have them. Has a rule about not using them. And I kind of thought that was pretty awesome. 
Not like I have anything against the frog myself, but I kind of respect it. I respect the stance. Aundor. Ah. Uh, I feel like Slowpoke can grind it out. As long as he doesn't get bitten, I guess. Hang on. We just do this. I appreciate it also. Hmm. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty annoying. I think it's just one of those things. It's like, I don't mind it, but it is everywhere. You know? It's in my blood. Yeah, I honestly, Club, in, in that case, I would take it incredibly personally if I was you, for sure. Uh, I've heard bad things about the people thing, so I'm all in for switching to more inclusive things. Sure. Same emotes everywhere is a... Uh, also, I prefer good art than she posts. <laughs> I don't mind what kind of art it is, but yeah, I think it'd be nice to have some more variety out there with some more stuff uh, There's like a very simplified version that I prefer a simplified stuff would be cool as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I should heal up a little bit cuz I don't really want to head back Yeah, and then uh, some portions going because they're kind of useless to me in battle anyway now. That will do. I do like it in the more recent Pokemon game. You can pull up the menu and just click like heal party or something with a minus button. And it will just use up like the weakest healing thing that you have and just fucking top every single Pokemon up. Um, who should I switch over for a bit? I guess Marowak is still a bit behind. I still feel like I'm going to switch Marowak out, <clears throat> ultimately. It was like a regional thing I've noticed. I see it more when I watch Russian streamers, really. I feel like I've watched it everywhere, dude. Yeah, like to come to think of it, I think it's pretty prevalent in the community that I've been in and around. But I don't know, like, in my case, if I've experienced it with any kind of, like, regional prejudice or, or, or all. Uh, today's secret team skull password is Tapu Koko. Remember, a true team skull member always butts heads and answers with a hearty no. Okay. I'll try to remember that. Uh, this is the version I prefer. A much better, but it's different. Look. Oh, sure. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I see what you mean. It's been taken over by some extreme alt-right groups, white supremacy kind of groups. Really? It's a weird thing to be taken over by a group like that. Like, what are they hoping to... Uh, uh, whatever. I'm trying to think of the logic. Yeah, I, I get you, Clove. And honestly, like, it doesn't... Um, I, I don't see the, the, the through line connection specifically with that. It's just a weird thing to, to fucking pull under the banner for. It's a 4chan thing originally, so not really surprising. Oh, is that right? Huh. I didn't know that. <clears throat> Some people have tried to make it a hint symbol in the past. Sorry, I missed that, Pebs. Right, okay. That's so fucking dumb. I imagine they try to make it as a hit symbol off of the back of the fact that it's popular. Is that right? You know? To try to make it synonymous with the whatever hating cause. Kind of fucked up. I'm not very familiar with stuff that has originated or has been around 4chan, to be honest with you, Dan. The internet is a very big place and I only have so much time to be in so many corners of it. Before everywhere else started using it right. So it's kind of like a weird that everyone else started using it right. I guess it got ahead of itself. Like out of context I imagine it probably just went viral. <laughs> OMG! Please don't tell me that my team skull, uh, skull tank you're wearing. Oh no. Oh no wonder it stinks. It is the same design though. It does not stink. That's a lovely aroma. Anyway, we should write our names on them so we don't mix them up. 
Uh, hello, our names are all grunt. What's the point? <laughs> oh my god, that's rough. Oh, hi. He's dropping on his way. What? Oh, no. All right, okay. If they can do that, then they can really make anything a hit symbol word. Which I personally don't like giving people that power. That's true as well. It, it's hard though, isn't it, Pebs? If it's already out of your control. It's all about control when it comes to stuff like this. If it has the, the connotation, if it has that attachment. Same when it comes to stuff like... Um, Y'all remember like Inktober, right? I feel like I was trying to do that last year around about like October time where people draw... Um, something every day like a daily thing and then the person who um came up with inktober came out being a bit of a dick like i i trying to remember what it was was it stolen stuff or did he start charging for it right he started yeah he was trying to hold it back from people trying to use inktober commercially or whatever as opposed to being like this free thing that everyone was just trying to do on their own it's like a list of prompts that you do every day and he was monetizing it basically and so people started going elsewhere and doing their own lists and calling it something else. I remember there was something else, but I can't remember at the top of my head about that whole situation. Uh, they didn't so much take it over as just kept doing the same thing, right? Uh, Valve has also banned the emote from their Steam platform after a DMCA takedown notice from Furry. The artist has tried to remove or reclaim his character, but Peps is entrenched so deeply into the internet um, subcultures that it seems an impossible feat. I wonder if um, this is. I'm wondering if this is the um, the the reason why Rune has banned it in the chat or not. Is that what it is? Right. I just uh, for some reason I just assumed it was just because of just the design of it that he didn't enjoy. But now I'm thinking about it. Maybe Rune was just a bit more sensitive to this kind of stuff and just didn't want that to be around. He just knows more about it. Yeah. Because I don't. I didn't know about this. Uh, email link, should I post it in general Discord? Yeah, go for it. You, you can put it in the general Discord. Absolutely. Well, yeah. All good for links in there. Yeah, for sure. Again, like, I'm not gonna call anyone out or tell people how to live their life or what emotes to use. I would never. You do you. It's absolutely fine. Uh, shit, I wasn't paying attention. Um, dark type, punch it. Thank you, Clove. I will check it out. Hey, let me have a quick look. Where is my Discord? Ah! Ah! Discord. Is this just an orangutan? Oh, he's fairly large. Yeah, okay, I'm definitely gonna... I'm gonna look through... This is the stinky thingy? Okay. Oh, it's in a lot of places, huh? Alright, I'm not saying, Clove... I'm not saying, Clove, that it's gonna stay on my, on my list of things that you can use. I'll, I'll add it in there just now, just for you. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go through myself at some point and figure out what emotes I want and don't want, but for now it's in there just for you. Just for you. No one else. No one else is allowed to use it. Can't promise it's gonna stay though, but I do wanna kind of rifle through some popular emotes and just see what's out there and see which ones I'd like to click with my channel. I was actually thinking, it's probably already out there, I would love um, D-pad and button input emotes if people wanted to share input for stuff, you know? <laughs> can't even see. So I can't even see it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me refresh my chat thing then if that helps. Because I see it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's my chat? Where's my fucking chat in all this? Where did I put it? Uh, is it this one? No. Um. Hebs, where's my chat, mate? Is this it? I found it. I found it. Don't worry. Um. Refresh. So it nailed it. 
<clears throat> yeah, you'll see you'll see it on the screen hopefully, and then next time you're around, it'll be there. Maybe. No promises. What am I doing? Uh, another one of these things. Hang on, is this another person? How did I get? How do I always end up in these situations? Uh, watching this with cat on your lap is amazing. Why no one said that to me? <laughs> is that what you're doing, Curb? Are you watching this with a cat on your lap? Welcome in, Curb. Good to see you, bud. How you doing? My cat is asleep right now. Uh, but not on me. On a chair nearby. I think it's a bit too warm for him today. It is getting a bit warm here, actually. I only have this blanket on me before here. I just realized I could take the blanket off. Uh, amnesia, I think, ups your psychic powers. Sharply raises, uses defense, my bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna need that, ever. I don't plan on defending. Uh, but she doesn't want to be here. She wants to be on the table, right? Yeah, are we done here? Yeah, okay. I now know of two curbs. Is one of them pink? Ours is green. Her banner, if you will. Oh, nice. I have noticed that in a lot of different um, communities that I'm a part of, there's a lot of pandas. Have you noticed that? I feel like I know at least three or four different pandas. <clears throat> Revive. Um... Hello? All right, Pokemon, I think I've heard of two. I think I've only got two at the top of my head. I, I know a black panda and shit, I forgot the other panda. There's definitely a panda in Jombies community. And isn't there one in your end, Pebs, as well? Hang on. <clears throat> the other curb is an iconic curb, so make of that what you will. Gotta be pink. Oh, we're talking about Jack Kirby here. Hang on, that'll make three Jacks. I mean, three curbs. I'm at two other Dan's. It can't be. Um, Moss. Go on, then. <clears throat> Go on, then, Moss. Get in there, son. Show us your shiny ways. Oh, we're definitely fighting him. Love how these environments look, by the way. Um, pop, 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 pop. Your haunter? Alright, I guess it's just about who hits each other first, right? Am I gonna be faster? Oh yeah. Bop <clears throat> a bop. Uh, also, how shall I refer to you? Oh, uh, as as a as a Dolkin, any one of those is fine. Im. You can just point if you want. Black Panda, Panda Norms. There we go. There's at least two of them there. I feel like there's another Panda somewhere as well. Uh, if I've met another Clove, I've probably blocked it out. <laughs> <laughs> What would happen if a clove touches a clove? Uh, the user handles a sharp leaf like a sword and attacks by cutting its target. That seems pretty sick. Is that better than razor leaf? I feel like razor leaf is nice because it hits multiple targets. I've got a feeling that leaf blade doesn't hit multiple targets, right? So I'll get rid of the synthesis for now because I barely use it. Streamer, pizza guy, pizza guy ketchup man. Yep, all those are good. As I got it. <laughs> Spontaneous combustion. Damn, Clove. Uh, Grimer is poison. Is poison? Um, poison is weak to psychic. I think I'm starting to get the hang of that one. A lot of my immediate family fell deep into the rabbit holes and I wanted to understand how they got dragged in. 
Oh wait, and the con and the concept of hang on. Oh, the internet history for right wing groups. Sorry, did I miss when you said that, Deacon? My bad, man. How far back was this? Internet history for alt right groups um, is something I'm probably more in tune with the most. I did a lot of research on the subject leading from 2011 to 2016. Gotcha, man. That kind of been a very fun research topic for you. Oh wait, I totally got this wrong. Oh, this is not the normal Grimer. This is uh, a Lowland Grimer. Fuck. Um, shit. Uh, go to sleep. What, is he a different typing? Oh, he's probably part dark. This is gonna hurt. If he's darker than fighting, wouldn't it? Nope, not fighting. Bug? Not bug, but ground. I'll take ground. Uh, what the fuck is up with Slowbro? Why the fuck does he have a shell? Pardon my language. What do you mean, why has he got a shell? Come on, Clove, you know the story. A, one day, a slowpoke dips his tail into the water because he's fishing, right? And a hungry shell that chomps on it, and then it evolves into a Slowbro. I forgot that my 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 Vicar Vault is not a charger bug anymore, so digging just looks even extra weird now. I don't think I've seen something that like, you know, flies do a dig thing. That's kinda cool. That's how it was shown in the anime, and I think the Pokedex entry also alludes to that being the case, Clove. But in the game, you don't um, put a shelter and a slowpoke together, it just kinda happens. I want to use Irish more, but I struggle to find communities for me that are Gaelic. Oh man, that would be really cool. Are you Irish yourself, Dan? I'm very fortunate to have met some wonderful Irish people in my time. One of my dear friends is Irish, and I love him to bits. Well, what did you just do, Spec? What did you just link to? Oh, the pick room. <laughs> I was I was so worried about what the, from what you said to what that linked to. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know why that made me so nervous. I think that just speaks more volumes about- Is that a Wii U over here? Yo! The other Wii U is over here, that's awesome. One of five that they sold. Hello. That's awesome, Dan. We love the Irish around here. Scraggy! Scraggy is fighting... Uh, fighting Dark? I think. He's definitely fighting something, right? Yeah, so Pluck would be good against him. going to be good against him because he's part ghost now. That's just a lot of damage. It's kind of weird having a bird that's not a flying type. <clears throat> I wonder if Pokemon will ever introduce a third typing. I, I do think it probably get a little bit out of hand with a third type. But who knows? I'm sure they've uh, considered it or thought about it. Oh, I should go right. For How do I go right? Greetings, visitor. If you wish to meet with Master Guzma, then give the three secret passwords. Okay. First password. Which one of these does our big sis like best? Uh, poison jab. Tch. Then tell me today's second password. Which one of these does our big sis like the best? Oh, actually, I don't know. We didn't get this one. Seriously? Then tell me to this third password. Uh, oh, Tapu. So, you think the passwords are Poison Jab, Serena, and Tapu? Oh, well, the first and the third one. Are you sure about that? Yeah. You got the passwords wrong. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, let's go and find the last one, I guess. <clears throat> Double check where I've been in case I've missed it. Oh, it's on the floor here. 
Found sweet. Okay. Sorted. E. Try this again. Uh, poison jam. Brown sweet. And tapu. Why cats all over the place? Why not curb? Coating. <laughs> Coating. Sure about that? Yeah, yeah. Wait, hang on. It wasn't poison jab? Okay, hang on. I wasn't paying attention. Then it's poison gas? I really thought it was jab. Wait, what? Hang on. Oh, say no. Sorry. Okay. Because the last thing was like when you meet them, don't... Yeah, say it. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, do I say no here or next? Okay, it's it's after the first one. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. My bad, my bad. <clears throat> Poison jab. Bound sweet. Tapu. And then say no. No at the end, you're right. The last one that we picked up, the Tapu one, said to say no. Thank you, um, David. Sorry, I missed that. I thought you were playing to Dan. <laughs> so, do you guys have any interesting music history knowledge? <laughs> oh, I see what you mean, Clove. That's kind of funny. To be honest with you, Dan, if I do have any interesting music history knowledge... Um, I don't know it. It's probably dormant in my brain, if that makes any sense. I'm trying to think. Is there anything that I know that might be interesting? Um, I do know that there's a, a forest theme in Breath of Fire 3, which sounds a hell of a lot like the one in Chrono Trigger, and I think that's really interesting. But it's not really history. Interesting music history knowledge. It's just video game music knowledge that I kind of like. <clears throat> uh, also, a note to Dan, I know next to nothing about music. There we go. It was double purpose, Clove. They gone into the bathroom and closed the door. What the- wait, hang on. The cat did? Curb, if you've got cats that can close and open doors, my friend, um, it's been real knowing you. Uh, the music by Austin Windry in Journey was played by a Macedonian orchestra. Yeah, so it was. The reason why that's an interesting fact is because we're in Macedonia at the moment, Dan. <laughs> Just to give you more um, context for why that's so interesting. Uh, developed a special interest in the Russian pop duo Tat. Oh, yeah, Tattoo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spec loves Tattoo. All the things she said. All the things she said. Running through her head. Running through my head? I don't know how it went. That's the only song I know that they did. God, I remember when that song came out in the UK and what a hubbub. What a fucking hubbub that song was. What a banger though. This is not enough yet. <laughs> you have to put like a period after each one of those clothes. This is not enough. <laughs> oh God. Oh. That hit me in the jollies. Uh, what did he say? Uh, steel type, right? Steel is weak to fire. Yeah, it's very good. It's very good. There we go. Thank you, Clawful. That's it. <laughs> the other two albums deserve more love, too. To be honest, I don't think I've heard much of their songs out of that. I feel like I've definitely heard other music videos by them, so I've definitely been exposed to other songs, but that's the only one that's in my brain right now. How old was I when that song came out? I was really young. I'm pretty sure I was in secondary school at the time. Just before high school, yeah. Wait, how did that not work? Hang on. I'm gonna do a bigger one. What songs would you recommend then, Dan, from those albums? If if someone who only knows them superficially from like the biggest hit, basically, 
what songs would you recommend being like, hey, if you like that song or you like them as an artist, check out like this. Uh, links are disabled in the uh, Twitch chat, but if you're interested, no pressure. Our Discord does have a music channel. Wait, did I not kill this thing? Oh my god, he's alive by like skin of his teeth. Chuck a boomerang at him. Sorry, a boon narang. Or narang. Hang on, that sounds weird. Let's pretend like none of I said, I said none of that. Oh, it's raining. Fuck, you're right, David. Ha, huh, it's fucking wild. Okay, let me switch to... What does rain do to electric stuff? Does it have any effect to that? I was a year old when that came out. God damn it, Cloth. <laughs> I was being educated during that time. Well, people were attempting to educate me. And I was yelling that this is not enough. Alt. There we go. What a banger. Someone's going to have to put that in the music channel now. I'm going to listen to it after this stream. <laughs> this is not enough. <laughs> what a song. And it's raining as well in the game, I mean. Uh, thunder and hurricane can't miss in the rain. Oh, that's a really cool fact. I did not know that. That's really neat. All right, who do I have up front? And are they still healthy? Nope. Um. Let's try that. Yo, when did I become Waluigi slash Eco? Wow. Oh, we're on the other side now. Fantastic. Can I... We're not moved this now? Okay, never mind. You think it was a good idea to come here, or maybe it would have been better not to? I think you know the answer inside of you. You think it's a good idea to go in there? Man, you don't know fear, do you? I guess maybe I should heal a little bit, because they're kind of scaring me. That will do. I know where it's love. Pom 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 pom. Oh, there he is. Guzmer himself. The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, big bad Guzmer is here. I don't really get you, kid, but at least this is a change of pace. It's not every day someone comes straight to me for a beating. I'm not here for you, I'm here for the Pokemon. Oh, Young Goose? How sweet of you to help out a sad little girl. To... Oh my god, do they have like a whole fucking box full of um, the, what are the, the Zed Crystal things? And you came all the way here just for that, huh? Can't you just watch out for your own Pokemon and stay out of other people's business? You're one messed up kid. You want to know what I do when some machine messes up? The first thing I do is give it a nice hard smack. I mean, most of the time I smash it to pieces, but hey, what can you do? Now let's see if I can't fix you. Though, Yo, this guy is violent. Holy shit. You just realize this kid that represents me in this video game is like, what, 11 years old? Holy shit. Oh, but the, the music, though. Uh, All About Us is kind of the sequel to all the things she said to me. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Savia Moya Lubov is a real... Oh, All My Love, is that what it means? Is a real uh, Tia Jerka song. Snowfalls is from the third album. And while the beat is still aggressive, it's a good deal more uh, introspective. And Sparks is a bop of a song about suicide via electric cue. Holy shit, that's wild. Dude, thanks so much for the, um, hang on. Yeah, let me copy and paste that out so I don't miss that. Put in a little notepad. Hang on.
Thank you for the recommendations. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna check them out as well, Clove. I'll put some of them in the uh, the Discord as well. <clears throat> the user attacks with electric charge. The user may use 50, 90. What's this one? 56. I forget all the time. Is my Pokemon um, physical or uh, how do I bring up the stats? Special attack 104, attack 100. Oh, basically the same. That's probably the reason why I kept both of those moves. What does Sage Surfer do? Surge Surfer, 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 sorry. Doubles the Pokemon speed stat on electric terrain. Ah. All right. Sparking, baby. Holy shit. Oh my god, I just had deja vu. This happened exactly last time as well. The same setup. It was fucking... Gola support versus my Raichu. It did the same goddamn thing. Ah, oh, okay. Hey, Yasuyuki-san! Konbawa! Welcome in. Genki desu ka? Uh, Thunderbolt it. Oh no, not Sucker Punch. Should be fine? Yeah. All the things she said uh, is the English version. Yes, I'm aware of that. The OG is Ya Shoshla. S. Uma? Probably butchering that. Spec is saying it behind me like that's gonna change how I pronounce it. <laughs> Thanks, Spec. <laughs> uh, do not leave cats with headphones? 100%. Don't leave them with anything which can be bitten, basically. Uh, that sounds like it flies. I'm gonna electrocute that too. I've been here in this place before. <laughs> Do you like uh, only one of my earphones works? Yeah, I've got my other one is kind of like got electric tape on it to hold it together now. How you doing, Yasuyuki san? I hope you're well. I mean, something like I have gone insane. Wow. Oh, what? Fuck, I wasn't paying attention. Shit. Okay, hang on. This is a bad showing. Don't worry, I'm going to bring this back. Fire. Fire will make everything better. That shouldn't be super effective. That did a lot. Oh, come on, dude, really? If I use the Z power, will it make me go first or not? Nope, it doesn't. All right, well, this was a bad showing for me. Um, okay, char, get in there, hit it with some flying attack. Oh, Char's faster, right? Sweet. Uh, she can have it. Uh, she can have it anymore. Oh, Pinsa is also a bug type. Special interest be wild though. A. I care to be introduced to a Macedonian alternative band. I feel like by the nature of being Macedonian, it's already alternative. Is that fair? That's... <laughs> Spec is touching at me. <laughs> I'm a dipper now. Might be back later. Take care. You too, Clove. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you for joining us, though. It's always a pleasure. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Now she wants to sit on my lap. Yeah. She might be asking for uh, an apology in uh, curb. They can't help themselves, you know? Cats understand that they shouldn't do stuff. They just don't care. Uh, Genki this I can't get out of the gold saucer at 7 Rebirth. <laughs> I understand. I understand, Yasuyuki-san. It is very fun in the gold saucer. Guzman, what is wrong with you? Yo! Give the Pokemon back to the kid, now. I like the way the, the Pokemon are represented by this one young goose here. Eek. Shakehead, shakehead. I'm gonna beat you down one of these days, no matter whose help I need to do it. Guys, really got it in for us. Can we take one of these? Oh my god, we totally can. 
Yeah, oh, Boginium. I mean, we should probably take more than that. Can we just... Ooh. Yo, you wanted to see me? Huh? Hey, hold up, you. That's the boss's chair. Is that all right? Oh, uh, well, I guess it is. I wish I could get away with that. <laughs> That's a fun little interaction they added for doing this. That's just the one, I assume. Very comfy. The arms of the chair look like they've been slammed countless times by angry fists. Oh, no. That's actually kind of scary. Dude has anger issues. Uh, he's some string forces with one song I quite like. Imma Lee is there. Okay. Thank you for the recommendation there, Spec. I think we're good here now. We just need to head back. Um, did I go this way already? No, because you can't go that way. That makes sense. I do like um, mansions like these in video games. I don't know what it is. I love exploring these kind of places. Whether it's Resident Evil mansion or like even the burnt down one in like Pokemon. I think it was Kanto that had the burnt down mansion, right? Which had ghost and fire Pokemon in it or whatever. Really fun environment. Have I got you to thank for this? Thing must have been scared half to death. If it's glad to see a wretch like me. What a lot of hassle. A trial goer, huh? Figures. Look, I'm not going to fight someone who is taken on Team Skull. I'll heal your Pokemon up, so go. Just go. Though, looking around now, it seems like there are fewer Team Skull folks around today than usual, huh? I guess some of them might have run off after seeing their boss get beat. Uncle Nanu. And here comes the noise again. Nanu, huh? Uh, I'm so sorry, you must have been so scared, huh? Thanks, as a Dokin. Really, you're really something. Uncle, you're a great police officer, aren't you? I really hope that you're keeping a good eye on things here. Where else do you stay here for if you're not putting a stop to Team Skull's shenanigans? The rent's real cheap. No one else is crazy enough to stay this close to Team Skull after all. Uh, that's what you say, but it's really all for the Pokemon, isn't it? You could depend on the Ether Foundation to look after the Pokemon that Team Skull hurts, but you stay here to look out for them, huh? Come on, young goose. Let's get you back to Ether House. I'll come back to see you again, Uncle, soon. Hang on, soon again, Uncle. No one's asking you to. Then come by the ether house when you're done. Alola. Pokemon tucked up in their Pokeballs. Team Skull locked up in their little town. I wonder if either enjoys the experience. Yo, Nanu, man, have you thought about playing Pokemon Black and White? You'd love it there. Gosh darn. <laughs> Luigi Mansion, yeah, that's a good example. For its worth, I did get a couple of them back. Um, sorry, I did get a couple of them back to reality over the years, so it wasn't uh, entirely wasted effort. I am annoyed by some books like The Storm Is Upon Us, because they tend to conflate a lot of the alt-right presences that existed in 2008-2012. I'm glad you went down the route of education or helping people out, Deacon. I feel like it's all too easy these days to kind of like point fingers or tell people that they're wrong um, without explaining or giving them a chance to come up to like the reason why themselves. As humans, we are quite confrontational and we, we don't like feeling that we're wrong or bad or, you know, like it's, it's just within nature not to want to feel that way. And I feel education is a really powerful tool to bring people together in an effective manner. Because if people are more understanding, if people understand where things come from, or why things are the way that they are. Oftentimes, I have faith 
to an extent in humanity to come to the right conclusion themselves. And that's not to say that we all need to believe and do the things in the same way. Heavens to God, no. But we just need to be more understanding and give room for other people to live their life comfortably as long as they're not harming one another. Whee! Yo, sticker though! Honestly, we just fucking... If all else fails, Deacon, stickers, man. Ooh, is there a thing up there? There is. Give them stickers. That's what I do with my students in Japan. I just give them stickers for doing good stuff. That works all the time. Oh, there's a ball here. I would like that. Thank you. Uh, Bray Bray's printing up some stuff being a Nazi stickers. That's the one. <laughs> there's the tagline. <laughs> you just slap it on the foreheads. <laughs> And she sleeps. Oh, good on you, Curb. Your Stammery, Scammery, sorry, is very much a steel type, right? I already caught one of these things. Never mind. It doesn't evolve, though. I needed to evolve to feel something, you know? Hanamaru sticker. Hey! Big fan. Very pretty stickers. Could I please also get some of those stickers? We all have places to put them, eh, Clawful? Would it make it more palatable if, like, you know, we got everyone's favorite Ash Ketchum on the front of it? Oh, I guess in Japanese it would be Satoshi. <clears throat> Can I go down this way? I don't think so, right? No. Hey, another Scraggy. Try not to kill this one. Immediately. Yeah, see, that's not dead. Don't, don't do it, Scraggy. Uh-oh. That's a problem. Um... Got an idea. Also, oh, Golden Week hasn't started yet, though, has it? Oh, it has. Is it Golden Week right now? Oh, okay, so it's Golden Week right, right now? That's awesome, okay. Well, um, to everyone who's living currently in Japan, uh, I hope you're all having a wonderful Golden Week. I hope it, uh, you find it restful and fun. You're welcome in, Dandelion. How are you doing? Uh, do you have a Floet or a Comfy? I think I've caught a Comfy already. And I think I've accidentally killed a bunch of Floets. But I've definitely already got one for my living decks, though. I should really use one on my team. I've been trying to get... Um, whatchamacallit? I'm trying to get a Fairy type to put on my team that I like so that I learn the matchup type better. It's weird, but I've been getting more and more of a feeling that with my grandfather dying, uh, like a shield was weakened, and with more and more people who survived World War II, who fought literal Nazis, the magic of the shield started depleting, um, and now it's barely there, shimmering, and new generations are trying to scramble and put it up again, but we have forgotten how to. The ancient magic of just a lifetime ago. It's crazy how short our lifetime can be in that kind of context, back. Uh, took a listen to me like, yay! Yeah, that's really nicely put, Spec. It's one of those things, I think it's like, um... I'm gonna butcher the phrasing, like, but a two-sided weapon. I forgot the phrasing, where it's pointy on both ends. Where in some, in some ways, I'm glad that we're getting generations apart from a lot of this hurt and pain. Because I feel like there's a lot of squabbles and issues today... Some of the ones I'm thinking of specifically are geographical to do with like ancient, in context of today anyway, squabbles back in the day of people dividing lands in certain ways and cultures in certain ways that nowadays they kind of give, you know, to future generations to carry on that hurt and pain. 
and being further and further away from that pain can sometimes help, you know, with it just being part of time. It is one of those things, I find it so easy to go on a tangent with this because I feel like we give the we give the newer generation a hard time sometimes and it's because it's easy to, I think. But to be honest with you, the one thing about like jumping from generation to generation, it doesn't have to be a massive generational gap. I'm just talking about like, you know, if you think about school year generational gaps or whatever. I feel sorry for the youth that come after me in a lot of contexts just because in my opinion, we've handed them a world in the state that it's in, expecting them to do better. You know? Does that make sense? I think it's... What I'm trying to say, I, I feel like, even within the generation of what I grew up with, having peers who look down on us and be like, oh, you kids don't understand what it was like, and giving us a hard time for it, and we've kind of turned around, and it's easy to do that again for the next generation. But to be honest with you, Maybe we, we don't know how to do it as well as the previous generation or whatever, but they also didn't particularly do a bang-up job themselves. It's I think it's easy to be like, I don't know. There's something there where I feel like I'm ashamed of the world that we've handed them as well, expecting them to do better when we couldn't. Grime, oh, what kind of grime is this again? You're right, Wills, where is she? Come here, Spec. We're trying our best. Yeah, that's what that's what's important though, right? That you don't give up, you do your best, but not to just like harken on, hey, you should be doing better all the time too, you know? I'm back. She got the big hug. Oh. Where do you guys know what Winx Club is getting a reboot next year? I don't think I'm familiar with Winx Club. Sorry, Dan. What is that? My generation is like we're trying our best. I'm learning why Cat liked biting the headphone cables. Wait, Curb. Hang on, Curb. Are you also biting them now and enjoying it? Curb, put it down. It's not worth it, Curb. Golden week, hey! I want to finish seven rebirth, yay! On this holiday, Yasuyuki san, it will take maybe two or three golden weeks to finish seven rebirth if you stay in golden saucer. <laughs> Winx is the Italian ma magical girl show about fairies. Holy shit, is that right? Why haven't I heard about this? Yeah, huh? Oh well, okay. Spec is saying I probably recognize it if I saw it. Oh shit, I want that. Okay, so this is on the further right, I guess. Ba 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 ba. Alright, here we go. Sorted. Ooh. Sneaky little sticker. Don't mind if I do. Uh, will he be back here then? What was his name again? I forgot his name already. Nan Nanu or something? Guess not. Hmm. I like all the little beds and the little things out here. I wonder if he comes in to feed them all. <clears throat> Uh, so of course, one of the one of their graduation requirements was to die for their country. Oh, gosh, good lord! I'm actually not all that good. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. Can we go behind this place? No, there's another box there. Never mind. Uh, it was already unusable, and it was like seven years old, I think. Ah, okay. Yeah, what's it? What, what are you looking for? The context as well? Oh, maybe we're talking about the same thing with Wix again. Oh, I actually don't even know where I'm heading next. Oh, I'm probably heading back to the Ether Foundation since I rescued the Young Goose. Should I do that before I call it today? I feel like I probably should, because it's going to be a little bit wordy. The next time I pick up this game, I kind of want to just, like, get on with the next destination as opposed to reading a bunch. So let's see what we need to read up and see what the next, like, kind of thing after going back to the Ether Foundation is. 
And then between now and the next time I stream this game, I'll try to think about what fairy type. And maybe I will stick a normal type on my team. Someone mentioned, um, what's that Pokemon get called again? I forgot the name already. Sin 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 Sin. I'm going to butcher this. Let me Google it again. Sin Sin right? Like I'm looking for a normal type potentially, a fighting type, or a fairy type to put on my team. This was one of the recommendations. Oh, hang on. One button. This one? Nope, that's not it. <laughs> that's definitely not it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, Sinsuno is a recommendation. Not a bad shout. I might put this on my team. In Japanese, this is Chi Chirachino. Chirachino. Very adorable. Um, another Pokemon I was thinking of was Sylveon. Keyboard's not on, give me a second. Sylveon. Pure fairy type, that might help me up with some of the matchings. Uh, Nymphia. Oh, interesting. Is that what it is in Japanese? Nymphia. Huh. I do know that the Japanese don't use the same thing in the, in the English one with the Eon kind of thing. Uh, Chirachino. Yeah, yeah, very, very cute. He is, isn't it? Very, very cute. Agreed. <clears throat> uh, so context, um, you're considered a true fairy when you gain Enchantix. Enchantix was the OG final fairy form before more seasons were made. Uh, so the gain requirements were make a great sacrifice for someone of your own world. Four of the six members uh, died for this right. Holy cow. Uh, what was the other Pokemon I was considering, Spec? Do you remember? It was this one, Sylveon. Uh, a fighting one, which I haven't decided who that could be. Yeah. If there's any other recommendations for Pokemon to put on my team, let me know. And I will consider it. But it has to be cool. <laughs> or cute. Or good. And I have to like it. There we go. There's, there's all the parameters. <laughs> Put a schnom on the team. Yo, if there is a schnom in, like, catching distance, though, Wills. Get a Charmander. Honestly, I probably could get a Charmander. I still need to get my save file off of um, Omega Ruby and transfer those mons on here. Maybe that's what I'll do. But I do want to specifically Fairy, Normal, or Fighting type. They're the three. You get resurrected, but, like... Oh, yeah, if you get resurrected down, then it's fine, isn't it? Is it really dying if you get to use a phoenix down, you know? Um, how am I doing this? Guess we're going back this way. Oh wait, I could probably just use Charizard, couldn't I? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, and the Ether Foundation was just up here? Nope, this is the wrong place. I need to go further than that. Nah, wrong one. Hang on. There, I'm down here. My bad. All good. Fixed it. Uh, I should give up her eyesight to save Queen uh, Ligia. And Bloom went through a training arc and willed herself into an incomplete Enchantix. An incomplete one? What does that mean? Like it only works 50% of the time? The more you're talking about it, the less familiar I feel like I am with it. But yeah, I'll, I'll look into it after this to see if I do recognize it. You're home. We brought Young Goose with us too. Wow, what's going on in here? As a dog, and I'm sorry. I, I can't even make myself smile right now. <clears throat> but why? What happened? Miss Lily. She's gone. Several hours earlier. Oh, shit. You people. Not going to disappear this time, huh? 
Seems like maybe the tall tales we heard about you were wrong. That was different. Nebby and I were both in trouble. That was the only reason why it used its power. So we both could escape with our lives. I know that I'm not capable of much myself, but I will not make it use that power again. I'm determined to not let that happen. That's why this time I'll do whatever I can on my own, even if I do find myself in trouble again. Yo girl, you know you're in trouble right now, right? Dumb spoiled little princess, leave her be. I like a girl who's not afraid to stand up for herself. And besides, I don't know about calling someone a Pokemon thief just cause she wanted to help out a Pokemon when it is suffering. Please, there is no need to hurt anyone else here. I will go with you willingly, wherever you want. The kid in the background with a massive smile on his face is just like kind of jarring tonally. Uh, that Plumeria lady came back as soon as um, uh, Ace Roller, I need to figure out how to pronounce that, had left. Hang on, you know what? I have internet capabilities. Let me quickly look up Ace Roller because I keep feeling like I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Ace Roller. Dun, dun, dun. That did not help. Uh, Pokemon Wiki. AS Roller. Um, it's not teaching me how to pronounce it. Um, maybe Bulbapedia will have the Japanese name. Um, the Japanese name is Acerora. Ace, Acerora? Is that right, Spec? Acerora? Yeah. Yeah, it's Acerora, I guess. So Acer Roller, as opposed to Ace Roller, which I guess makes sense. Ace Roller sounds strange to me. Ace Roller, I guess. Hmm. Yo, holy shit. Yo, Cryptid. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Ass Roller. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Cryptid? Thank you so much for the raid, man. Much appreciate it. Oh, hey, Stumpin. How you doing, buddy? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you all doing, man? Thank you so much for the raid. How's it been hanging, dude? Borderlands 2. Yo, what a game. Been a while since I've thought or played about that. Doing good, thanks. How about y'all? Doing all right, dude. Um, don't have too much left of my own stream, but I really appreciate the raid, man. Listen, if you need to go and take a shower, grab something to eat, sort yourself out in any kind of which way, if you need to go to bed, I'm not sure what time it is, please take care of yourself first. If you're hanging around, though, would love to have you. Um, I'm Azadokin. I play video games or some shit. We're here doing some more Pokemon Ultra Moon. I'm continuing my adventure of completing this game for the first time and um, contributing towards my living decks. Thank you so much for the follow, Dan. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, welcome, Encrypted. How was it? How was um, Borderlanding? Again, I used to play a shit ton of Borderlands 1. I never got as far as I wanted to with 2, even though I feel like you know the consensus is that number two is the better one it was just more of number one <coughs> maybe i was burnt out by the second one but i was meaning to jump back into the game i was excited about three but then three came out and it was kind of like the reception was a bit lukewarm loom couldn't miniaturize sometimes her powers went out of control ah so that's what it means steven universe oh stumpin universe i see now context makes sense love context uh, quick ask about this owl and why it's funky looking. <laughs> Deacon, it's all legit, mate. It's above board. All universes are stumping universes. Oh, The only shower I need is a shower of love. Deacon is, <laughs> Deacon is your man then. I was going to be like, Deacon, shower quickly. <laughs> shower of love. Cryptid, you are welcome to as much showering of love as you need. Can I go here? Oh, Wills, you are welcome to the stumping universe. I feel like the Minecraft server maybe should be renamed to Stumpin' Universe. All in agreement. E, thank you so much, Dan. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate the like, Stump. I mean, you unconscious alpaca. Wonder how that happened. Uh, it's fun now since I got proper weapons from the gold cache. Uh, I'll be playing through all of them, but started with two. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Because there's a fair few of them now, right? Hang on, let me just try to remember. You got Borderlands 1, 2... There was the, the pre-Borderland game, then three. Uh, Tiny Tina, does that count? I haven't actually played that one. Like, we're close to the end of the story, gotcha. 
I learned for the first time that the English and Japanese pronunciation of um, Eserola was quite different. Very interesting. Yeah, well, Yasuyuki-san, that's why I was checking, because I don't know if in English it's Ace Roller or Ace Roller. I'm not sure. Um, how do I say I don't know? I thought... Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, 2 3 pre sequel, the Telltale game, and Tiny Tina's Attack on Dragon Keep is on my list. Sick. The Telltale game is apparently really good. I've always been meaning to get around that. I was kind of telltaled out by the time it came out. Uh, Tiny Tina is just a DLC, but it's one of my favorite bits of game ever. That's awesome, Clawful. I've heard good things about it. I thought there was a standalone version as well, but I could be thinking of something else. Was that a spin off game? Oh, okay. Uh, dictionary says um, Acerola is Acerola. Gotcha. Thank you, Clawful. So it, it's not Ace, it is Acerola, which is similar to the Japanese pronunciation. What? I'm supposed to be a trainer. I've got all these Pokemon with me. But when it come, came down to it, Lily had to protect me. Lily was not even a trainer to begin with. Did I hear that right? It was Lily who took Cosmog? Gah! You know who Lily is? I still couldn't protect them. Then what was the point of me even leaving home in the first place? Can't stand this useless feeling. I'll blow it away with everything I've got. Yo, holy shit, hang on, we just fighting? Alright, well, okay. Akurolo. Akuro, is that, hang on, is that correct? Akurolo. Oh, that's your first instinct, right? Akurolo, right. Acerola, yeah. Acerola, yeah. I think it's just seeing A-C-E, my brain automatically thinks ace, you know? And I think with it being a C sound, not a K sound, I, I sometimes want to say A-K, but it's a -se. All right, let's calm him down, I guess, first. Thank you again, Cryptid. I hope you're good, dude. Kind of cool that you're going through the borderlines like that. I love um, watching people go through like a series of games because I like doing that myself. Did that mean? Hang on, Cryptid. Did that? Does that mean that you started with one, by the way, or did you just start from two? Uh, type null. Is type null just normal? If he is, I think we should just punch it. Being say in Japanese makes sense, yeah. For the Japanese pronunciation, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, flying press, innit? Whee! Was that his third one? No, he's got one more, right? Zoroark. Zoroark is... Um... Straight up dark type? Question mark? I think we just need to punch it. Oh, by the time it evolves into a Zoroark, does it not do the um, the illusion thing anymore? Where Zoroark kind of comes in, uh, disguises one of your other Pokemon. I kind of like that about um, Zoroark. I think Zoroark, generally speaking, is a cuter design. Though I like them both. I really like the um, the regional variant they designed for Zoroa. Which which game was it? Was it Arceus that had that? <clears throat> the Hisui in Zoroark, I guess. DD, welcome in! Have you ever seen the Pokemon Infinite Fusion fan game? I think I have, DD. I've been watching Cultist um, go through a fusion type game. I'm pretty sure it's probably the same one. And it looks bananas. It looks insane. If it's the same one I'm thinking of. He didn't even use Zoroark uh, for its illusion ability. He's kind of dumb. Uh, no, it still does the illusion thing. When it, oh, it still does? Okay. I guess he just didn't have it set as an ability. Or if all of his other Pokemon are out, it doesn't have it. Uh, pinion, a phonetically representation of Mandarin in the Latin script. Uses C for the sound. 
So there is precedent. Ah. That was wrong of me. I shouldn't have dragged you into a meaningless battle like that. But I told you both. I told you that Cosmog would bring disaster to all of Alola. I have to get it back from them. We'll leave from the fairy terminal. You're coming with me, whether you like it or not. So the only question is, are you ready to come now or not? Sure. Yeah. What do I have to do? Good. Then let's go. <laughs> Yo, the fucking Oranguru in the background who just spun around. <laughs> I knew this was going to take some time. There's a lot of dialogue in this game. Hrumph. So, we're waiting for how? We should wait. He'll come. Yeah, I guess so. He's a pretty interesting kid, I'll give you that. Growing up in the great Kahuna's shadow and still trying to stand up to Hala as an equal. Not just that, but trying to become even better than Hala, too. I couldn't do it. Oh, look where it is. Officer Nanu? If only Team Skull could have just kept themselves and their troublemaking to poor town. Why'd they have to make all this fuss, huh? You there, boy. I'm an island kahuna, you know. Battle against me. It'll be a good experience for you if you're really hoping to master the island challenge. Okay, I will. Don't take it too seriously now. Good lord, I didn't expect it to be the random fights in between. He did the boy! I can't believe he dropped a boy! I didn't realize it was this island's kahuna. He sent Zoroark out last, so it had nothing uh, to illusion into. Ah, is that how it works? Uh, acerola juice is rich in vitamin C and very tasty. <laughs> Thank you for the recommendation, Yasuyuki-san. In uh, Yasuyuki-san's um, stream. Yasuyuki-san, by the way, I think I've mentioned this before. I'm sorry, Yasuyuki-san. I don't mean to embarrass you, but you are a fantastic artist. Um, where's my keyboard? I'm going to shout you out because I know I'm not allowed to raid you. I get that. Let me just put this in here so people can check you out. Um, underscore. There it is. Um, I was in Yasuyuki san's uh stream the other day and i think we brought up calorie mate do y'all know what calorie mate is if anyone's played um metal gear solid before let me hang on i'm gonna i'm gonna be googling calorie mate again calorie mate you just made me think about this again uh yes yuki san is a fantastic artist please check him out uh, this is Calorie Mate. If you've ever played Metal Gear Solid before, you'll recognize this. Hang on, let me just stick in Metal Gear Solid. So for people who have n maybe not played Metal Gear Solid before, this is like a huge thing in that game. I had no idea it was a thing at first, right? Because, you know, I was in the UK. God knows how old I was. This came out on the PS2. And uh, in the game, there is Calorie Mate. And you eat it, and it fully restores your whatever it is, a HP and stamina thing. And Snake expresses uh, massive satisfaction from consuming this thing. So when I finally went to Japan and uh, lived there for like six years and was exposed to to this and all the other calorie mates, you have no idea how excited I was. I still have some. I'm pretty sure because these things last forever. They're basically like fucking bunker food. Um, they're incredibly dense protein-like um, biscuit-y fucking... I don't know how else to describe them. And, the, you know, they're called calorie mate because they're meant to be, you know... Everything you need packed into a tiny little biscuit thing. Like on the go kind of food. Um, let's just say that not all calorie mate are created equal. I think the basic version and the chocolate version. And maybe the fruity one. Are kind of alright. Maybe. I remember some of them I found kind of gross to be perfectly honest. I thought Snake had lied to me all these years. But they're pretty good. I still recommend trying them out. <laughs> um, buttons and art. Have a good day, further friends, or sleep tight if it's late where you are too. Have a good one, Clawful. Thank you so much for joining us. Please get that sleep. This whole universe treats the island uh, challenge almost as important as my hometown took high school football. Yeah, I know what you mean. 
where the where the culture takes it to like the nth degree, Deacon. Lembas. I don't think I'm familiar with Lembas. Calorie mate, very delicious. There we go. I know I think snake lie calorie mate is very dry for my test. It's incredibly dry. Please have water nearby if you're consuming it. But if you just like nibble on it, you know, to get through it that way. Spec is saying no behind me. I think they're very edible. <laughs> Anywhere. That's my keyboard. It's nicer if you dunk it in tea for a long time. Ooh. It turns your mouth into a desert. <laughs> that it does. Yep. It's super dry. Tea sounds like a good idea with it. Just don't take a whole mouthful of it and expect to get through it, you know? Unscathed, I mean. Like that. Yeah. It is super, super dry. Again, I still kind of like it, though. Spec worked in a bakery, right? That's correct. Aren't those, like, uh, anathetical to the art of baking? <laughs> I guess in Spec's account, yeah. Spec worked in a bakery in Japan for quite some years, and she did good, good work there. It was a fantastic bakery. I mean, this is the kind of food that people pack in if they're on the go, right? To have, like, a quick meal. Or like in between to lunch before. Ideally, the circumstances in which calorie mate would be something that you lean on to do in your day-to-day -day life means that there's something in your day-to-day -day life which is a bit fucked up in my opinion. Like you're going to need to sort that out. But in a pinch, it's good in my opinion. Just hit it with charge beam. I'm going to regret this because it's got a... It's going to have like a dark move and probably kill Raichu. Yeah, okay. I should switch out. I'll switch out. No, please. Please don't. Please don't. We tanked. Yeah, it's got a ghost type move, which is good against psychic. Good against ghost. Um, so, of all my Pokemon, even good against fighting, I guess, only Vicavolt, I think, can just take it on the chin. Unless ghost and bug have some sort of interaction that I'm not familiar with. Please, streamer, stop defending it. I will never. Snake and Calorie Mate are important to me. Aramit is what we pack away for natural disasters and other times of crisis. Exactly, Clawful. <laughs> exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, which one of these would be good? If he attacks first, we could flinch it with this? No. And start. Does this flinch? Nope. Maybe this one. Might leave with paralysis. Let's go with that. Your power gem, though? Shit. Okay, thankfully, we're going to attack first, so let's just crunch it. <clears throat> Ay, okay. Persian, I assume it's the Alolan one. What uh, typing is the Alolan version? Is it dark? I think it's dark. In which case, we punch it, I think. I wanted to like the Alolan Persian. I, I, I want to, I want to like it. Cause I think the Alolan uh, Meowth is pretty cool. I just don't think I can. Yo, it knows Power Gem as well. Holy shit. Wait, is Power Gem not um a rock type move? I thought it was. Should do it. It looks so fucking goofy. Yeah. <clears throat> like, I like the idea of it, right? But I just... Mm, I just can't get over how dumb the face looks. <clears throat> rock, rock, rock. Um, That's a fighting... No, sorry. Dark type. Yeah. Big fan of this Pokemon. Love the way it looks. I like its final evolution as well. I forgot the name of it, but it's kind of like... Bigger, angrier, edgier, and red. Just do one of these bad boys. Go on, Char, get stuck in there, bro.
Look at all those fists just flying out of it. Oh, there's some feet in there too. For good measure. Destroyed a fucking volcano in the middle of that. Humph. They took Persian and added Garfield's face. I think it lost something in the transition, you know? Because I think Garfield's face could be fun on a Pokemon. Maybe it needs to be orange, you know? Well, shoot. Of course I already knew you had the heart and the strength to storm Team Skull's stronghold. But I didn't know you were this good. And your Pokemon worked real hard for you. Let me fix your team up for you. I appreciate when they heal you after a fight. Here, this is yours. Hey, is that a dark? Is that a dark? Is he gonna show me how to do the dark dance? If you want to use the dark type Z power, you've gotta do it like this. <laughs> Look at that guy. There. Congratulations or whatever. You've officially finished your Ula Ula trials. You've got somewhere else to be, don't you? Try not to destroy the whole place. And... Oh, and you boy, Gladion. Tell me. If you're really trying to get stronger as you say, then what are you depending on Team Skull for? As a Logan, don't you dare say a word about this being fun. If I'd been stronger, if I'd been the kind of trainer who could seize victory like Brion wants to, then Lily would have... I'm ready to do whatever it takes now. You know, I think How is very wholesome, and I think having a friend like How is a good thing. But where was Lily taken? It couldn't be poor town. Azadokan was there the whole time. Hm. So you're not quite as dumb as you are naive. It'll be Ether Paradise. Ether Paradise? Oh, that's a hell of a transition. Yo, does Team Skull have their own fucking boat? Ether Paradise is harbor. We made it this far without running into trouble. But I don't like how quiet it is. You two, stay alert. But why would Lily be here in Ether Paradise? She just will be. Ah, this guy. Fine. So what are you going to do? Uh, should we look for her? Should we ask around? Look for her. I guess we take the elevator. You guess? And we're following this guy? He doesn't have a plan. Honestly, most of my plans kind of sat that way as well. Hello. Seems like things are getting pretty crazy around here. Do you want to go back to Mallet? Nah, I'm good for now. I might head back to Mallet if I want to change up my team a little bit, but I think this is probably where I'm going to call it today. I'm going to save here. And I'll give uh, a think about my team composition and what Pokemon I might, might want to switch in and out. Oh, I'm going to need to poke his face. Do you prefer trading or battling with others? I love trading, mate. Big fan of trading. That works just fine for me. Oh, wait, you've got another Lotto going on? You know, for the road, why not? Lotto time. Again. We have three Lottos today. Hey, it's a green apple. Roto PP restores. Ah. How are the restores all your PP of the Pokemon you've got in battle? That sounds handy. All right, let me just save again. All right, and with that, thank you for joining me, everyone. It has been a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to continuing this game. As I said from the beginning of the stream, I might be on hiatus for Pokemon Ultra Moon specifically for one week because um, I want to dedicate one week to doing the another Crab's adventure. But we'll see how things go. I don't know just yet. I do my schedules on the Sunday, and I'll figure it out then.